to 8.30 p.m. So it's a full day. Um, the lineup for the conference in terms of speakers, we have Pastor Jessica McKenzie, Evangelist Shirley Perry. We have Pastor Nicholas Chambers. We have um, Evangelist Ruth Lawrence. We have um, co-founder um, Nastasia Wright. And Evangelist Stoddart will be preaching as well. And then in terms of worship ministry, we have Minister Don Martin, Minister Kevin Downswell, Minister Jim, Jeremy Edwards, the EAC Youth Choir, um, Samik is doing my ministry and uh, the dance, EAC Dance Ministry. So it's a powerful lineup for the day. And also my first lady will be ministering, Pastor Jillian Thomas. So the lineup is really, really good for the day. Um, we The theme is a woman for all seasons manifest. But it's not open for this woman alone. We have sold some tickets to some men who say, look here, <laughs> I am coming to this summit. And we are excited also to have the men on board. But um, Manifestation, we've been having an awesome time on the 70-day platform um, that the Lord gave um, Prophetess Moulton to carry out that mandate. Um, we're in our 62nd day, I think it is. And we have been seeing, I describe it as fire, like, the move of God, awesome, awesome, awesome move of God. And, you know, people have gotten the Holy Ghost, been delivered, healing, deliverance. You know, this is what the word of God speaks about, miracles, signs, and wonders is taking place. Um, prior, leading up to the conference, though, the starting the 13th of March, right up to the conference on those Saturdays, we'll be having mini conferences and Pastor Jesse will be leading on all those three um, Saturdays. Prophetess Moulton, um, Pastor Kenyatta McLeish is going to be on the platform, as well as many other persons. So we're having a revival leading up to the big day, which is April 3rd. So we invite everyone to come on out, get your tickets. Um, we have online registration. But I also should mention that the face-to-face -face tickets are limited. So once we are sold out in terms of face-to-face, -face, we will direct you to the online platform. So for the online platform, registration is only 30 US dollars. And for face-to-face, -face, it is $7,500. Um, you can get tickets at the Manuel Apostolic Slide Road, or you can get it at um, Ignite Clothing Store in Halfway Tree, the Mall Plaza, or Chick and Trend in Central Plaza. It's located right beside Spencer's tailoring. So you can go out, get your tickets, and it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome time. Amen. So we encourage everybody, go right now, www.tinyurl.com, Woman of Faith, and you can register. And we can post that in the chat, my able assistants. I have lots of assistants tonight, my production team. Bless God for the heart-to-heart -heart production team, my lovely wife, who gave me permission to do this stuff. Amen. It's very important to have the wives in your corner. Thank you, Lady Stoddard. Amen. Let me invite Lady Denise McFarlane to come in and to sing a song before I introduce tonight Pastor Prophetess Moulton. And we talk for five minutes and then we go into prayer. Lady Denise, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Assisted by her son, Dominique, and her husband, David McFarlane. Be blessed. Lift up your worship before God. Yes, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When the world seems cold and your friends seem few, there is someone who cares for you. When you've tears in your eyes and your heart bleeds inside, there is someone.
There is someone There's someone who cares For you And when there is tears In your eyes And your heart Bleeds inside There is someone Who cares For you That person is the man Christ Jesus. He cares. He cares. In this pandemic, when the suicide rate is going up, there is a God who cares. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody be comforted in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be comforted. My God, can you not feel Jesus wrapping his arms around you right now? He cares for you. Let's read the word of the Lord. Amen. Tonight from John 9, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man. He sees you. Somebody said, God sees me. God sees me. He saw a man. Amen. Who was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? 
this man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sin nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seen. Amen. Tonight, you know, uh, some of us, even myself, where we grew up, we put God into a little, you know, context, a little box. And um, it's when he begins to move in an unusual way, you know, it mystifies us. Uh, but God is a spirit and no man can control God. He is like the wind. He blows where he wants to blow. Anytime. So tonight I want you to reflect on that scripture that Jesus spat on the ground. And in a time of COVID, nobody would go to that church where the pastor spit on the ground, make um, clay and put it on you. Nobody. Because in our eyes, you know, Naaman didn't want to go wash in the dirty Jordan. Amen. But we see an unusual move of God. Unusual circumstances in your life require an unusual move of God. So open up your spirit tonight. Open up your faith tonight for the Lord to have his way in whatever way he wants. It might be unusual to you, but if it works, the man washed and came seen. That's all I need. Amen. The evidence. Amen. Bless God. So right now, let me invite uh, our guests to welcome to the Heart to Heart talk show tonight. Amen. Pastor, Prophetess Angela Moulton. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor, Prophetess, as she begins to unmute her device. Amen. Welcome. God bless you. Welcome God to the bless heart you. to heart. Amen. That beautiful lady is the mother of Evangelist Althea Stoddard, who was with us just a few days ago. Amen. And we looked at her story and she mentioned you, Pastor, um, your formative role in her life and how you have shaped her we welcome you to the heart to heart talk show for the first time amen god praise mr. god michael amen morgan. god bless you god bless you minister michael morgan thank you for having me amen i want to greet all the minister and body of christ this evening in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth amen I want to greet my daughter evangelist Stoddart and lady michelle and all the other presenters online, those with testimony, and those who are working along with Mr. Michael Morgan this evening. Mm. Amen. Thank you for the new name. Thank you for the new name. I'll name my son Michael, but I'll keep the name Tyrell. <laughs> Tyrell is my name. I, she's prophesied already. Amen. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Bless you, God bless you. I yeah. I got Michael. My God, give it to her, Lord. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Michael, the architect. <laughs> Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's Bless. not Michael. He's going to come. Okay. Amen. In Jesus' name, I receive. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God bless you, Minister Tyrell Bless you. We are here tonight just to discuss different principles of prayer and how you can improve your prayer life. Yeah. I just want to do the basic basic principles that we do in our in our everyday life for us to have a, a maintain a prayer life for the Almighty God so that the Lord can use us. Amen. Living a victorious, consecrated life is very important to maintain our prayer life. Because as we no the scripture that an evil server is quoting that God is holy. He said, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man can see God. And we know that our God is a holy God. Amen. Let us look at penitence. Amen. Penitence showed repentance or regret of sin. Amen. Some people believe that once you repent of your sin, Upon the fundamental aspect that you just got give a life, give a life, give a life to the Lord, 
that's repentance, stop there, and we're now filling the Holy Ghost. So you're now serving God, just praising Him, going to prayer meeting, going to evangelistic services, and participate in all the different services as we have, have them to be in our assembly. But from experience, I understand that you have to live a consecrated life and be very pertinent in your relationship with God because God is holy. And so you have to have a daily repentance life for God. You got to repent daily because we are living in a sinful world. And sometimes we sit in our mind, in our thoughts, in our heart, by thinking the wrong things, doing the wrong action, having the wrong idea. And so when it comes to God, he's holy. So each time you get in the presence of God, you have to repent. You know, when you repent, then he applies the blood upon your life. A daily repentant life makes you to be a victorious prayer warrior before the Almighty God. Amen. There are other aspects in our life that we need to take in consideration when we want to really reach to him, be attracted to him, have this personal intimacy with God. It's a personal relationship, become intimate with him, wherein you have those secrets. Amen. In your heart, that it doesn't pour out to God. You tell him everything about your life. If you make a mistake or do something wrong, Go to him, Daddy Jesus, Father. This is what happened. I'm asking your forgiveness. Forgive me, Lord. I repent. Respect his holiness and honor his holiness. He loves when you respect his holiness and see him as your God. Honor him, worship him. You know, give him the, the honor that is due unto him. Respect him that is God. Don't just, you know, something might happen, have the wrong thoughts, I did something wrong, and just bypass it and just. Go in prayer before him as if nothing is, is wrong and just say, God, forgive me. And, but you need to be pertinent before him. Your heart got to be broken. You got to be really sorrowful for what has happened that you say, God, I will never allow this to happen again. Amen. It's a, in your life, in your walk, you got to make your mind up to change and turn, not just to continue in sin. If you continue in sin, you can't have a relationship with God because he wants intimacy with you. He wants closeness with you. And also he desires holiness. Amen. So we have to learn to live a holy and victorious life so we can be able to tap into the holies of holies. Amen. The holies of holies where the presence of God dwells, where the anointing of God dwells, where the glory of God is revealed to us. Amen. We want to look at another aspect as in enhancing our prayer life, we got to have inward purity. Amen. And some people believe that it's not necessary to have inward purity as long as you are filled the Holy Ghost, baptized in the name of Jesus, and that's, no, it doesn't stop there. Inward purity is free from contamination. Come on. You, you got to offer unto God true sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. And that's what the Bible said, present to your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service. So you got to free from contamination. Amen. Not abhorring hatred and jealousy and bitterness and covetousness and his honest thoughts and other inward sins in our heart. If we continue in that path, we cannot enter in the Holy of Holies. Come on. Come on. When we read in the book of the Acts, 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 Acts 19, amen, we see where the apostles were praying, amen, amen, for, for ministering the word of God. But here comes, there were seven sons of Stephas, and we see where they were trying to perform the acts of the apostle. And the, the demons cried out, Paul and no one Jesus, and what thou? because they were not in line, in our in alignment according to the, the concept and the protocol of, of, of the word of God for you to be intimate and to enter into all of all and to have that power and that authority. Amen. Inward purity gives you authority with God. Holiness gives you authority with God. Amen. So if you want to have authority 
in the presence of God, you got to present your body as a living sacrifice. Amen. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Our hearts got to be free from bitterness and covetousness and dishonesty and other inward sins. We become hypocrites if we fail to mortify these deeds in our, in our flesh. Purity allows us to gain entrance into God's holy presence. Purity allows us to gain entrance into God's holy presence so he can work through us because our body is now the temple. So Jesus Christ comes in the form of the Holy Ghost and dwell in us. As, as in 2 Corinthians 5, 19 declares that to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, so is the Holy Ghost, God in us to reconcile the world unto himself so, so that we can win souls to the kingdom so that the sick can be healed. We can destroy the powers of darkness. We can bring down principles and powers. And so we got to keep our temple clean so he can work. He can manifest himself. He can manifest his glory. Amen. So inward purity allows us to gain entrance into God's holy presence. And some people say, oh, I want to hear from the Lord. I want to hear his voice. Yes. But you got to be, you got to have pertinence continually in your life. You got to have inward purity. And then they got to be have spiritual hunger. You got to be really hungry for him. We're in, you know, your mind is on him. You just want to seek him. You just want to pray. You know, you just want to have some all night prayer meeting all by yourself. Until you know that concept and the love of God that you need to get intimate with him. The other basic principle is that you got to be obedient to him. You know, if he says you can't go somewhere, don't you go. Never you go. You must always be obedient to his voice, obedient to his word. Sometimes you ask him permission to go somewhere and he tell you no. You ask him for something that he need personally and he will say no. And you just have to adjust yourself according to his will and his way. Song said, not my will, Lord. But then be done. You know, may this prayer be mine every day. But this robe of flesh, let me falter. Guide myself, hold my hand either way. So you got to be in total obedience to gain that intimacy, that relationship with the Lord. Amen. Spiritual hunger. Spiritual hunger is having a strong desire or craving for the things of God. Come on. Fasting and prayer. Come on. Come on. Get, 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 get in a place of solitude with, with him amen seek his face diligently not just get up in the morning our oh, father lord i thank you for waking me up amen and you're, you're going to work you come back in the evening from work you say our oh, father prayer and, and you go to bed and and, and that's a ritual when it, when, it, when you enter the assembly for a prayer meeting you know they say the regular prayer meeting prior and we pray closing prayer quick open prayer and that's it no for you to have that deep with intimate relationship, you have got to spend time with God. And he loves to speak. He loves to talk. The Holy Ghost loves to speak. I mean, the Holy Ghost loves to talk, loves to speak, loves communication. But prayer is communicating with God verbally. It's a two-way communication. You speaking to God and God speaking back to you. Come on. If you don't hear his voice, I mean, I mean literally in your ears, he, he will speak give you a scripture in, in your spirit, it, it will tell you to turn to the scripture and to read it. So if, if you get a word from the Lord to read the scripture, it is God speaking to you. And some people say, how does God don't talk to me? God speaks to every one of his children. You just need to wait in his presence and listen, listen, listen to him. He might tell you, turn to St. Matthew 3 and read it. Come on, he might just give you a song. You might hear his voice audibly in, in your ear or just in, in, in the spirit the Holy Ghost speak to you on the inner man amen but he does speak so you got to be hungry amen hungry for him come on hungry when I say hungry it must be that you can't wait to get in his presence you know that you take time to seek him not just to pray for an hour you know you got to learn to spend three or four hours five hours in the presence of God just praying Talking, interceding, intercession, amen. Communicating with him, amen. And wait for his presence to come. 
in your atmosphere. Don't just get away. It's going to speak to you. It's going to give you some instruction. Come on. It's, it's going to feed you with his power, with his glory. Come on. And it takes a lot of fasting. You got to learn to fast and seek him. This kind of coming not but by prayer and fasting and supplication and obedience, totally obedient to him. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice and whole burnt offering. And so we have got to learn to be honest to him. He loves when you're honest to him. He loves when you tell him everything. Do not hide anything from him. Be honest to him. Treat, treat him as if he is, he is, he is in your presence and you can see him with your eyes. You know, that kind of relationship, you know, that, 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 that personal relationship with God, that, that you, you, you speak with him about everything. Whatever you're going to do, make sure that you, you go and say, Lord, I want to do this. Is it okay? Can I do this? He loves that kind of intimacy, that kind of thing. I, I, I can remember when I, was, when, I was, when I was working as a nurse and I, and I was working only nights. And when I was working only nights, I would have to go to work maybe 11 or 10. And when I going to sleep, I asked the Lord to wake me up. And I'm telling you, I've never laid for work. The Lord will come and he will, I will just feel somebody come and just tap me on my shoulder and just wake me up to get ready for work. That kind of relationship. You ask him to do things for you. Come on. You ask him to, to do a lot of things for you. And I can remember when my children used to come and holiday here in Cayman Islands. And I would say to them, you know, wake me up for to go to work. And I remember at one time the Lord said to me, who used to, who used to wake you up when they were not here? Wasn't I used to wake you up? Why is it now you're asking them to wake you up? And I would say, Lord, I'm sorry, I apologize. You know, that kind of friendship, that kind of relationship with him. Sometimes the Lord will say to me, you can't go to this place and that place and eat. And I will say, God, why? And he said, no, I don't want you to go. But I didn't understand that God was testing my trust and my obedience. And sometimes I'll be hungry and I can't go to the restaurant and eat. I have to wait until I get home to eat. And then it was an next time he said, okay, now you can go back to the restaurant and eat. But as I walk with him, I've learned he, 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 you know, he, 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 he try my obedience. He try my how much I love him, how much I will sacrifice to be obedient in whatever he tells me to do. Come on. And that's the situation that God wants for us to be totally submissive to him and to be obedient and to submit ourselves as a wife will submit herself to her own husband. And that's the relationship that God wants with us. For in Christ, we are not a male nor female. Amen. He wants us, he wants friendship. He wants honesty. He wants obedience so that we can gain power with God and with man and have that full authority to, to do his will. Amen. And so I will encourage you to be very prayerful in order to enter in the holies of holies and have that relationship with the Lord. Amen. Now there are different watches of prayer. There are eight watches of prayer. Amen. But we're just going to look at four tonight because we don't have time to go into all those. Just the basic four watches. Amen. To enhance you to understand that we are to seek the Lord and we are to pray as near time before. Now the first watch is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Amen. We see where this watch is after you have gone to work, your everyday chores, you know, where Jesus come and he, he enter into prayer, you know, after we have finished our long day of business and hustle and bust up the day, it, it's good for us to enter in prayer between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., amen, to just, to, to just, to, you know, to unveil ourselves before him and to, to lay the burden at the cross and just to tell him about the day, what happened in the day and you know, if you have made a mistake, you tell him and you, you know, consecrate your life before him and you ask him, you know, to, to, to take care of every matter, every situation that you have come in contact with that has been burdened, burdening you, bring a burden on your mind and you just lay it on the altar and you seek his face. Amen. Then we have the second watch, which is 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. During this watch, 
the intercessors are able to impact the spiritual realm before the enemies of the Lord began to attack the body of Christ. You know, this, this is at midnight. Amen. We rise in prayer and pray. Amen. These are times to pray. Amen. And sometimes enemy will have you to sleep, sleep right through the night. It is not good for a Christian to sleep right through the night. There must be some time where you must get up and watch. What are you going to watch? The second watch, the third watch, the fourth, and you can go on. Amen. You must get up in some time and pray. You must pray. Amen. Just to gain power with God and man. Amen. And you know, it was at midnight hour that God shut down the firstborn of the Egypt, Egyptians. Amen. Which resulted in the people being released from captivity and set free. Amen. So it's a time where will you, you, you release some stuff. You come on, you want you want to release? You need to, you need to release them between nine and twelve. Come on, come on, break from captivity, break free from different things in our life, and we release the spirit of 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 release 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 things and and, and people from captivity and, and release yourself into the into the supernatural realm of God. So it's it's a time of release between 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. where you where you break down barriers and you you, you, you break down captivity and you you release you release the time of release. So that time between 9 p.m. and 12 a.m. Then we look at the the third watch, amen, from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., amen. This is a period of much spiritual activity, amen. In this watch, we'll, we, you receive strength. You can strengthen your faith in God. You ask God to strengthen your faith, amen. This In this watch, you speak things that are not that, that as though they are. You know, you, you take authority in the atmosphere, amen, in, in, in this watch, amen. You take authority over the atmosphere, amen. This watch is the most darkest, most demonic part of the night. Come on, especially at midnight, we have witchcraft workers and warlocks, amen, and satanic people come out, they begin their evil work at this watch, amen. It's also a watch of time of temptation when Peter was tempted to deny Christ three times, amen, as in St. Matthew 20, chapter 26. And so in this watch, we see, we, we, we got to ask God for a lot of strength, amen. We seek the strength of the of the Lord. We pray, we pray, we pray until something happens. We pray until you, you, you are lost in him. You pray until the anointing comes down with power and clarity. Amen. In your life, you pray until, until you see dark clouds moving. You see things just be, being shattered before your eyes. You don't see stronghold being, being broken. Come on, in this one, that's a very good watch to pray between 3, 12 a.m. and 3 a.m. Amen. And also the fourth watch in which we are doing the 70 days of fasting this time is a very powerful watch. Amen. This fourth watch is a morning watch from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. This is the last watch of the night. This is when satanic agent who goes out to do their evil activity at this time, they will be coming back, mighty God, from their evil works and their evil slaughter. And so we need to be praying earnestly in the realm of the spirit amen, that God will destroy their works, amen, and destroy their evil powers, amen, and that they will not be able to return from their evil activity, but God will pull on their strongholds and will get done in the pit of hell, amen. So in this watch, you gain power, amen, over the enemy, amen, because we have got the authority to silence the enemy, we have got the authority to, to subject them to the power of God, we have got the authority to destroy their works, to destroy every works of people and powers during this last, this fourth watch, amen. And so at this time, we are going to go into prayer, amen. We are going to be praying and we're going to ask God to strengthen us, amen, at this time and to give us a power in prayer. Come on, amen. you need to ask God to give you a power in prayer, power to pray, power and authority to pray, amen. amen. And so as we pray at this time and asking God to give you, give us the power the power of prayer and yes. the authority of prayer, amen. Wherein the enemy will be, will, be, will be afraid of us, that we'll be afraid of the enemy, enemy. So we, when we gain power and authority with God, the enemy has to, it, can't, it cannot withstand us. We, we will have no fear, come on. And that we have that authority to speak things that are not as though they are, 
we need to get back to the old landmark, amen, where we seek for the power and the authority, amen. But as I said in the beginning, you cannot gain power and authority with God without a consecrated life, amen, a life of inward purity, spiritual hunger, and a daily pertinence before God. These things you have to take in consideration. It's a daily activity. It's supposed to be your daily need, amen, as your human body need to have physical body need a daily daily food to be a nutrient to sustain the body mighty god and the anatomy of the body and biological part of the body need a daily food so our spiritual body need need daily 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 food daily spiritual manner daily spiritual food as you said to disciples my word our life and spirit amen and so we need to read the word daily amen because if we don't know the word of God, we won't have power and authority with him. So we need to pray the word. Amen. Sometimes we pray different things that is not in the word of God. But if you can pray the prayer of the word of God for his word, his life and spirit, we gain power and authority when we pray the word of Almighty God. Use the word of God in your prayer. The same word that's written in the book of the Bible, use that as your prayer points. Amen. Because there's power in the word of God. Amen. There's no other prior points best for us to use than to use the prior points that are written in the, in the Bible. The written word, the prior points of the written word give you power. The, the word of God is power. For in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word become flesh and dwell among us. So when you use and activate the word, use the word, pray the word, read the word in the atmosphere, you are gaining power. You are gaining access to God. Come on. The enemy is afraid of the word because he's afraid of God because the word is God. So when you pray the word and, it, and it get out in the atmosphere, you're actually destroying the enemy with the word of God. Come on. The word of God can destroy the works of darkness. Come on. The word of God can bring life. The word of God bring healing. Come on. If we pray the word, come on. We sing the word. We activate the manifestation of the word. Come on, use the word of God. Pray the word, speak the word as it is written in the Bible. Activate it. Come on, because the word is God all by himself. Amen. And so that we can have that power and that authority. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we are going to pray tonight, asking God for spiritual strength. We need to have the access with the power and authority that God has handed down to us. Amen. In Acts chapter 1, he said, Behold, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. We need to know who we are and whose we are. Come on. We don't understand. Some of us doesn't understand still yet who we are in Christ. That we have power and authority. That we are spiritual beings. Come on. That there is a divine spirit that is in us to activate and manifest. We just need to believe by faith. Amen. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. Come on. Somebody will say, how can I develop my faith? Come on. Okay. When you pray by faith, if you ask God for a book, in your mind, in your spirit, you must see that book in the spirit. If you can see it, you're going to receive it. Whatever you're asking to do, you must see it happen in your mind. It's all in the back. The mind is back of it. So if you can Imagine it and see it. Or if the Holy Ghost will open his spiritual eyes to see him. Amen. You must believe that you receive it. Come on. So what you need to do is just present that book in your spirit before the Lord. And say, God, this is what I'm asking you for. Amen. And you pray. And you believe that you're going to receive it. And you shall receive it. There are going to be time when, if, if you're sick, and the Lord said, I have healed you. You'll find that you will still feel that symptoms or see that sign still activating. But do not pay attention to it. Just ignore it and tell yourself, I am healed. I receive it and I believe it. You see, if you can see it, you're going to receive it. Once you see it, you're going to receive it. Amen. So we need to see it spiritual because we are. It's, it's a spiritual warfare. It's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual activation because God is a spirit. He's 
invisible, immortal God, immortal, invisible God. And so because it's a spirit, we have to do everything in the spirit. The flesh profit nothing. Amen. So with the mind, we need to believe. Amen. And we perceive it in the spiritual realm. And then you believe that you receive it and then you receive it. Amen. Because God is not a man that he should lie. He's going to do whatever he says he's going to do. And he's going to do it for us. So we need to get back to the old landmark where we believe God as in the day of the apostles, my God. We're in the shadow of the apostle. He is the sick. And even now, it can happen. Amen. If you believe that your shadow can heal the sick, and if you just pass by someone and say, you don't have to touch them and look at them, you just activate that faith and it, it happens. Whatever you believe, that's what you're going to receive. Whatever you see, that's what you're going to get. Come on. So if you can see it, then you shall receive it. Amen. 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 Bless God. I just want to do a prayer of faith right now and a prayer of strength before yes. I hand back over to, to our host. Amen. Mr. Cheryl Morgan at this time. Amen. In Jesus' now, name. I want every one of you on this slide. I just say if you can see it and believe it, shall receive it. I just want you to think of something that you really need in your request, in your heart, before God right now. An unspoken request that you desire. Something that you have been praying for for a long time. And we're going to use this night as the fourth day of March to see that God will activate faith on this night. Think of it. You have been praying about it. I want you to see it in the spiritual realm. Come on, see it in your mind. See it in your heart. And I want you to believe that you are going to receive it from God. We are going to do a prayer, mighty God. Come on, come on, come on. We are going to do a prayer. Amen. And this prayer is going to be a corporate prayer, but you're not going to unmute. Amen. We are going to pray together. I'm just going to want to show you that you just need to activate your faith because he has given us all of us the power. All of us have to give us the Holy Ghost to activate. So it's not just if if prophet is more than pray, the miracle is going to happen. Or if minister and the role pray, the miracle is going to happen. Come on. Come on. Or if Minister Pagan prayed, the miracle's gonna happen. Come on. Or if Apostle Delaware Spirit prayed, the miracle's gonna happen. We go on and on. But I want to demonstrate to you tonight that you have power and authority. There is a divine God in you. And so you are going to think of that thing, that situation they ask God for, and you're gonna believe you're gonna receive it. We are going to pray a prayer for just two minutes. Come on, that's a long prayer. And you're going to testify that you receive it because I know God is going to do it. I'm going to think of what I need. And I know I'm going to have to tell Minister, Ter Minister Terrell Morgan one of these days that I received that, what I asked God for on the 4th of March, 2021. We are going to activate the power of the Holy Ghost on the spiritual line tonight that you have the power and authority. He said, we all like give you power over all the powers of the enemy. He said, take the million and power in the earth and we have the power. We need to believe that Christ is in us and that we have authority tonight. Amen. I believe you must have think of what you need at this time and what you want to receive. Right now, I am seeing what I need. I am seeing it in the spiritual realm. I'm looking at it. And I am presenting it up right before the throne of God. God, you see, that's it. I've shown you what I want. Yes, Lord. And I know I'm going to receive it. Amen. And we're going to pray. We're all going to pray because it's given us, all of us our power and authority with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we adore you, God. We worship you, Father God. As I come to you right now, Jesus. Father God, for you, you're going to demonstrate your power among your people to show them that you have loved them and that you have, they, they have received the Holy Ghost in power. Father God, I ask you, mighty God, to supply my need, mighty God, of this one thing right now that I'm showing to you, God. This one thing that's in my mind, God, that I need right now. 
I pray, God, that you search the hearts and the minds of your people and prove yourself to them again that you are um, the Messiah. You are omniscient, God. You know their heart and their mind. You know what they need, mighty God. You said in the scripture, if they ask for a fish, God, it would give them a, a stone, mighty bread, a, a serpent. And if they ask for, for, for bread, it would give them a stone, mighty God. And so, God, in your name, Jesus, I come. I decree and declare that every need that is presented before you, God, you will answer a prayer and grant it unto us tonight. God, I believe you that you're going to supply this need right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare that Echo Mose Ket Yomosiah that we shall receive now in the name of Jesus. We receive this need, mighty God, this urgent need, mighty God, this healing need, mighty God, this condition to be healed right now. And Father, we thank you for doing it right now. Hail Messiah. I see. Still not believe. Some of you still not believe the Lord said. You don't need to see to believe it. Hey, shut up. I want you to believe, Mr. God. I want to see faith on the earth. Hail Messiah. You still don't believe that you're going to get it. You said you have prayed so much time, I have received it. This night, this night, this day, you need to believe God and receive it. Mighty God, we thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. And what we ask you for, God, we shall receive it tonight. And Lord, we tell us thanks in Jesus' name. Father God, we pray for strength in the body of Christ. We pray, God, that you release the power of authority upon us, mighty God. He said, behold, you have given us power over all the powers of the enemy. We pray, God, that miracle signs and wonder will manifest in every assembly, mighty God, in this nation, mighty God. That miracle signs and wonder, God, will manifest in the life of your people, mighty God, show the nation, mighty God. We pray tonight, mighty God, that you'll stretch out your wounded hand in our hearts and release faith, mighty God, in our hearts. We pray for faith, believe in faith, mighty God. We pray, God, that you take us in the realm of faith tonight, mighty God, that when we leave the spiritual land, our faith will be increased. Mighty God Almighty, lift up our heart, mighty God, and our mind and soul and body to believe you with all our heart, mighty God. Lead us, mighty God, in the realm of faith. Lift up our soul, mind, and body, God, in the realm of faith, that we will believe you, mighty God, for you are not a man you should lie tonight, God. And so we ask you to release, believe in faith in the heart of your people, that we will believe you in spirit and in truth, mighty God, that we will believe that you are God. That we believe that you are the resurrection and the life. That we believe you, God, whatever we ask for, whatever we pray for, nothing shall be denied. And so, God, we thank you for believing faith. Mighty God, we pray for a change and a turn of faith. I pray, God, that we we'll change and turn and release your faith in our heart. Mighty God, mighty God, it's come time that we should have faith in you, mighty God. We ask for you are believing faith in our heart, mighty God, that we'll no more doubt you, mighty God. We have seen the signs, the miracles, mighty God, that we are surrounded by, mighty God, from the days of the apostle until now, God, from the beginning of the creation, mighty God. And so we ask to God to help break our mind and give us the power to believe you. Give us the power to believe in you, God. Mighty God, we cancel doubt from this line. We cancel the spirit of doubt and confusion from the mind of the people, mighty God. We pray that divine faith will enter in our hearts tonight, mighty God. We pray for a change of heart and mind to believe you, God. Give us the power to believe you, mighty God. And so we tell you thanks tonight. In Jesus' name, God bless you. As I hand over to Minister Tyrion Morgan. Amen. In Jesus' name, powerful indeed. Amen. Consecration is the root to an effective prayer life. Amen. Let me ask, amen, Sister Denise McFarlane, just to touch uh, a verse, amen, of that powerful song. Then Sister Michelle Campbell will come in. We have uh, four testimonies they're going to give.
uh, their testimony. One minute each, amen, that we're going to pray, amen. If you need the Holy Ghost, we are opening up the breakout rooms right now. So if you need the Holy Ghost while uh, this song is going forward, we're going to, we have some powerful prayer warriors. We have Elder Winston Rowe, Elder Donovan Brown, Merrick Myrie, amen, Wendy Johnson, and Shelly Ann Harrison, amen, and a number of others, Marsha Edwards, amen. These are prayer warriors who will be in the room. They will pray you through the Holy Ghost, amen. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you can come back in, amen, amen. Make sure you get the good, authentic Holy Ghost amen my god just focus your mind upon jesus you can use your raised hand right now as we open up the breakout rooms we'll put the prior warriors in the room and then we will put you in there amen if you have a very private need you can pray and then come back i mean because uh pastor Moulton can pray for every situation tonight so take advantage of this once in a lifetime one night only you will find all of these prior warriors from the different prayer lines Pray without ceasing. Amen. Uh, Kingdom Intervention Prayer Line there in Canada. Amen. Prayer of Faith International Line. Amen. Yes, Julian, I see you raising your hand. Amen. And Sister Denise gets ready. Touch that. And Sister Michelle gets Hallelujah. ready. Amen. In the name yes, of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Bless God. Bless God. Yes, God. Bless God. Yes, Jesus. Yes. some things I may not know there are some places I cannot go but there's one thing of which I'm Real for we 
he's real for i can feel him deep in my soul hallelujah my god is real for i can feel him deep in my soul yes my god is real Hallelujah. I can feel him, my God, in my soul. Somebody lay your right hand on your belly and just say, Jesus. Amen. Just call his name. Amen. Wherever you are. Hallelujah. Yes. Lay that right hand on your belly and just say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Let me invite Sister Michelle to come on in. My God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We have some folks who are lined up. Amen. Let me just give another instruction here. For those who are seeking the Holy Ghost, you're going to see breakout room. You're going to see it at the bottom of the screen. If you're using a phone, go to the bottom. You see more. Amen. Just select uh, Amen uh, room. Amen. Let me ask the, the those who are in uh, going to coordinate in the room. Amen. Just select an empty room. Go in there and then somebody who is searching for the Holy Ghost will follow and go in there in the name of the Lord Jesus. So there are a number of rooms that are there, amen, for the Holy Ghost and some for prayer. So we ask the warriors just to go into that room, amen, Elder Winston Roll, the Donovan Brown, amen, co-pastor Wendy Johnson, Shelly and Marsha, amen. You know yourselves, those that have been recruited, and just pray for them in the name of the Lord Jesus. So look for the breakout room, amen. And, and and folks just select a room where there's somebody that's in there amen if, if you don't see anybody just be patient stay there until we assign somebody the co-host will assign somebody in that room amen sister michelle come on in in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah god bless you god bless you uh minister tyrell hallelujah thank you jesus God is real for we can feel him in our souls. We know for sure without a shadow of a doubt that our God is real and even more so we have been a Confirmed of this, hallelujah, in the last 63 days, seven days to go, seven days to go. My God, my God, God's perfect number. See, uh, evangelist smiling, amen, amen. So we're going to have some testimonies that have come out, my God, of or our days of seeking. We've been up uh, for 63 days from 3 a.m. on the dot 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. originally. Now we are there till 9 a.m. sometimes. My God, laboring. And we're going to invite our first person, Sister Jackie Stewart. She's out of the UK. It is 1.33 a.m. in the UK. And she's here just to declare the goodness of God and to give God glory and to encourage the saints of God and to Build our faith in the most holy God. Come on in the room, Sister Jackie Stewart. One minute, if you can, just condense it. My God, as we give God the glory in Jesus' name. Unmute your mic, Sister Jackie. Sister Jackie Stewart, I know you're on the line. Unmute your mic and just come on in with your testimony. I hear a sound. Amen. I think she's warming up. Amen. Just let us know all the names of the folks so that they can get ready. Amen. In the okay. name of the Lord. She's, she's ready. Okay. She she sent Praise a, a God. Okay. Okay. Glory okay. to God. Yes. 
it, it wouldn't allow me to unmute. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Greetings to you all in the early hours of this wonderful morning. It's a blessing to be here online this morning. Um, God has been so, so good, so good to me. Um, I greet the prophetess, I greet evangelists, you, Lady Campbell, all the ministers online and the blessed, sweet Holy Spirit. Um, over the Christmas and New Year, um, I started having um, sounds in my stomach. It was really loud sounds till my children were like, Mummy, what's that? And I said, it's my stomach. And then I started bleeding from my back passage. Um, it was getting up to like eight times a day. And it was even if I urinated, there was blood just pouring from my back passage. And um, I had like major flatulence, which was just constant through the day, but it was really offensive and getting very embarrassing. But praise God for COVID, for lockdown. I didn't have to go anywhere, so I could just stay in my house with my children. And then I decided to, um, after four weeks, I went to the doctor's. I contacted the doctors and I went there and they checked me to see if I had piles and said, no, there's no piles. And they took blood tests and said, OK, can you give us a stool sample, which I did um, straight away. And um, within about four or five days, they rang me and um, she said, you know, I'm really sorry to tell you this. And I, you know, and I said, you know, what is it? What is it? And she said, oh, you know, I just wanted to tell you, you know, you you have a condition call ulcerative colitis and um all the time she was speaking to me all I would do was go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh-huh because I never said yes because I'm not claiming any sickness I refused to claim it in the name of Jesus so I just needed a name that's what I wanted so she gave me the name and she said you know you're gonna have to have um go to support groups there's support groups for the family support groups for the people you work with because it's a life-changing condition and you know we're going to have to put you in contact with the specialists at the hospital so that they can talk about the steroids and all the medication that you'll need to be on for the rest of your life and I'm going mm -hmm, okay okay so within she said I'm making an urgent referral for you at the hospital at Southmead Hospital. So I said, okay. So within two weeks, like I got the call saying, you know, can you come in? Um, we've had the referral from your doctor, can you come in? And I said, yes, I'll be there in the morning, no problem. I went, in. no, 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 I, w I went in, um, but the bleeding had stopped because I am, um, I contacted the prayer line. I've been listening on the prayer line. And this particular morning, um, I thought I'm going to write down. Now I have the name. I'm going to put it in the chat. Um, and hopefully, I'm hoping that it will get mentioned. It will get prayed over. So I put it in the chat with all the others. And then this particular morning, the prophetess said, I'm not going to Re, I'm not going to take any requests. I'm just going to pray for all of them. And by faith, I want you to believe. I want everybody to believe who's put it on the chat that you're healed. And so as she was praying, um, Evangelist Stoddard had read out all the, the requests for prayer. And um, the, evangel the prophetess, when she prayed, and I heard her actually call out, ulcerative colitis and I thought thank you Jesus thank you thank you Lord I'm healed I'm healed I'm healed well it stopped by the time I was to go to the hospital to see the consultant everything had stopped and when I sat there and he said to me so how are you Miss Stewart and I said I'm fine and he said so how's everything going and I said everything's fine I'm well he said so what about your symptoms I said they've all gone and you could see through his mask his eyes opened wide and I said, um, I'm a Christian. And he just sat back in his chair and he said, you haven't got any symptoms. And I said, no, he said, but I'm here to talk to you about your steroids and your tablets and all these meds I'm supposed to give you. And um, I'm, you know, I can't give you those now. And I said, well, that's fine because I'm healed. So he said, can I check your stomach? I said, fine. So he said, because normally my stomach was bloated and hard. And he checked my stomach and he said, there's nothing wrong with your stomach. I can't feel any hardness. And um, I'm just smiling behind my mask the whole time. And then he said, okay, I'd like to book you in for an MRI. So I said, that's fine. So um, 
the MRI scan came within about five days after seeing him. I went for my MRI last week. I had that scan um, 30 minutes in, in this MRI machine. And then to my surprise, um, they took five lots of blood tests as well. Um, I had a call back from the doctor like three days later saying your blood test, like I had five lots of blood tests. And when she was telling me how like my thyroid is, is wonderful, is excellent. My cholesterol is perfect. My, there's no sign of diabetes. There's no sign of this, my this, my that. She was naming things I'd never even heard of. And I was just like, praise God. I was like, yippee, yay. You know, it was awesome. And then yesterday morning, I got another letter from the hospital. They want me to come for another MRI on Wednesday, the 24th of March. And this one is with to, to drink a solution called gadolinium. Never heard of that one before, but I have to drink that over an hour um, before I have this. So this, this is them going deeper. So they can go as deep as they want. They can do what they want because my God has healed my body. By faith, I receive it. It's happening. As the prophet has said, if you can see it, you can receive it. Just believe it by faith in the name of Jesus and be healed. So glory to God. My God is real. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise powerful God. indeed, Michelle. Powerful. We're doing good for times. Another Amen. One minute each. Amen. In Jesus name. Powerful. Brother Tyrell, I was going to ask you, do we have any leeway at all? Please. Um, <laughs> I, I, this is a question I wanted to ask prophetess from the day I heard uh, the, the, the first part of this testimony. We didn't hear the back end until just now, along with everyone, because she went back for a test and now we're hearing those results. Bless God. So we're getting it live as well. But prophetess, did you have any idea of what ultra risk colitis was? I know it has to do with, with the, uh, the colon and the, the, the intestinal disease. Yeah. Amen. But did you see anything or the Holy Ghost just 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 said that on the line? No, when I was praying, the Holy Ghost was bring it, bring it to my to my spirit to pray about it. My God. Just bring it up before me. And I my God. Yeah, Glory when I was praying, the Lord, I was calling out different different sicknesses and the Lord bring it, the Holy Ghost bring it for me to call it out. Yeah. <laughs> what a God. What yeah. a God. If we were on the line, we we, we usually ask you to unmute. I know we can't do that here, but in the chat. Light up the chat with some praise, Jesus, some thank you, Jesus, some glory. My God, I feel like shouting and dancing for this one. God is a miracle working God. All glory to him tonight. Amen. And for uh, the prophetess's obedience, God bless you, woman of God. Coming in the room, the second person, Sister Jennifer Moore, you are up, woman of God. Unmute your mic and give us your testimony in one minute. My God, this must be a heavenly one minute. We're on a different time. Go ahead, <laughs> Sister Jennifer. Unmute yourself. You're you're not. Oh, can can we unmute Sister Jennifer more? Or admin? Um, oh. Je go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise can Jesus. you hear me? Lord. We're hearing you. Go ahead. Yes, loud and clear. Go ahead. Testify okay. in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God, it's so good to be on this platform tonight. To God be the glory. I greet everyone in their respectful place. Um, this testimony is so good. I have a son um, who owns a couple of businesses. And he has a warehouse that he has like four different departments. So it's about $3 million worth of stuff in there. For some reason, he's been paying the mortgage and everything's been going good. And the roof started to leak and they start to give him a hard time with it. And they end up foreclosed on the building because they didn't want to fix the roof. So he's been trying to pay them and to pay them for them not to foreclose on the building. The other day, a couple of days ago, they put a chain and they locked the place. And as I said, you have over $3 million worth of stuff there. 
Anyways, uh, I called Prophetess Bolton and I was telling her what's happening. She said, don't tell me anything more. And she said, oh, let's pray. Then when she started to pray, she said, they're going to oh, give him time to take his stuff. And I'm like, in my back of my mind, I'm saying, it's a foreclosed. Then when you foreclose and lock that place, that's it. Anyways, she said to me, call the bank. You speak to them. So when I call the bank, the guy said, ma'am, it's foreclosed. There is nothing we can do. It said, no. About an hour after, my son called me and said, mommy, the guy from the bank sent me an email that I'm to call him. When the guy from the, when he called the guy from the bank, the guy said, I'm giving you 15 days to take your stuff out. When he called his attorney, the attorney said, no way. In all my, all many years of practice, I've never heard anything like that. He went, they took the chain off and he started to take his stuff out and the rain started to fall. So he ran out of a couple of days from the 15 days. I call her again. I said, he still didn't get his stuff out and they won't give him more time. She said, yes, they're gonna give him more time. Call them again. I call them again. There it goes. They gave him three more days. And he has taken out everything out of that place. Nobody in history has ever seen anything like that. To God be the glory. Great things you have done. And God bless you, Prophetess Moses. Hallelujah. 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 We give God glory. Amen. I believe the words... Of, of Sister Jennifer was the lawyers were so surprised and so uh, confounded because in all their years of practicing and seeing close, the bank has never, my, my, the bank has never yet allowed that to be done, but we know our God is, We know our God that is miracle working God. Amen, amen. We call in Sister Sophia Blackman. Sister Sophia Blackman, woman of God, just raise your hand so they can locate you quickly. Raise your hand, Sophia. And then after Sophia is going to be Claudia Martin, Minister Claudia Martin, Evangelist Sophia Blackman. Go ahead and raise your hand. So Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks this evening for his healing power. I remember I was on the prayer line, Bridgerin, and one morning, and we were singing, Sister Marcia was singing, um, I prevail by the blood of Jesus, I prevail over sickness. And when I came off the prayer line, I said to my husband, honey, I don't feel good. My head don't feel good. Anyway, I went through the day, and I was dear, dear, and I came home, and it got, it got worse. And I lined the bed and as near as the prayer meeting was on my veranda, I couldn't go out there. I was just in the bed lamenting in pain, in pain, in pain. And I said, God, what is this? And I said, honey, I just feel like I get an attack this morning. Hallelujah. And when prayer meeting was over, I went in the kitchen and I started cooking. I'm a, that I said, mommy, come out the kitchen because you're not well. And I said, Sophia, now from I come off the prayer line, something hit me. And I started to sing the song, I prevail by the blood of Jesus. I prevail over sickness. And when I started singing the song, I, I, I started to speak in tongues. And I went, I, I don't know when we are reaching the bathroom on the floor. And it, it's like the enemy say, you're not prevailing tonight. I feel my head top was lifting up. And I said, Jesus, I started to cry. My kids started to look. Worried and them, I said, Mommy, warm to you, warm to you. My husband was gone on the road. And I said, Sophie, get the phone. Call the prayer warrior. Call back up. Ah, hallelujah. And I said, I'm not going to stay here and die. I have a ministry, the speech choir. Hallelujah. They have a peace that with normally minister. Don't stay here and die. Sound the back of cry. And I tell you, brethren, I sound the back of cry. I say, so when I call the prayer warriors and she get on the phone and start to call her and she got evangelist Stoddard. 
And so, and she said, when she heard me screaming in the background, she said, what is happening to your evangelist? And I said, my head, my head, my head. I was so screaming. And she said, hold on, I'm going to put prophetess on it. Two way, three way, hold on. And when the prophetess came on and she and Altia stood out, started to pray. And she said, get the bottle of olive oil and water and chew in her head. I mean, I tell her, brethren, hallelujah. I never feel such instant relief. Mighty God, hallelujah. I said, when they throw the water, when they plead the blood and rebuke, I said, I feel something lift off the head. And I start to sing the song. I said, I prevail. I prevail over sickness by the blood of Jesus. I prevail. And I just want to thank God, all about Shanda, for his healing touch, hallelujah, this evening, hallelujah, from the, for the saints of God and the woman of God, hallelujah, and the woman of God who came and prayed when they, Michelle eventually get my call and she called and said, what happened, double, triple back up, the enemy is defeated. One more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is victorious. Hallelujah. I want to encourage somebody on the line. Don't stay there and die. Sound the hell of Oshanda. Sound the battle cry. Hallelujah. Get help in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're, we're just taking 10 Hallelujah. seconds. Come on. Just go ahead and type in 10 seconds. My God, thank, thank you, thank you evangelist. Thank you, evangelist Black. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You. Holy yeah. God. Thank God. Yes, give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, woman of God. What a mighty God we serve. Angels, the Bible says, bow before him. The heavens and the earth will adore him. He is a mighty, mighty, mighty God. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. I see them. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. My God, my God, my God. What a mighty God. I see the angels worshiping, bowing. What a mighty, mighty. Mighty, mighty. Ah, oh, God, we give you glory tonight. Yes, I'm coming down. The last person, Minister Claudia Martin, woman of God. Hallelujah. Sister Claudia Martin, raise your hand if you can so we can locate you as we. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Greetings to all you wonderful people of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to be on here tonight just to share my testimony again. Um, Lady Pastor Moulton called me this evening to ask me to share and I jumped at the opportunity because the, the, the miracle that I received is a big one and I, I, I just jump at the opportunity all the time just to tell of the goodness of God. I have been healed and, and Sister Sophia, I am a witness and a recipient of the, the instantaneous miracle of God. Last week, Monday, I was in my house doing some chores and I felt like someone, well, something came up behind me and hit me in my back on the, 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 the top center of my back and knocked the wind out of me. And I couldn't breathe. The pain was excruciating and my husband had to help me to sit down. And I was sitting in the chair for a while trying to breathe through the pain and stuff and it wasn't working. Anyway, the night went on and it got worse, progressively worse. And, and afterwards, I felt a, a, a numbness right here, if you can see, in my shoulder. And as the night went on, the pain got so bad that I lost all function of my right arm. My, my right arm got paralyzed and the pain was so bad that I couldn't even sleep. I couldn't sit, I couldn't stand, I couldn't, I, there was nowhere that I could go to get some relief. And I, all I could do was type in my family chat and I asked them to pray for me. This was about 2.30 in the morning. And my sister Dawn, she's on here, I think. She called me in the morning and she said, what's the matter? And all I could say was pain. I was screaming. Just like Sister Sophia said, I was screaming. It was so painful. And she said, 
you know what? I'm going to get some backup. And she got some backup and, and someone called and prayed for me. And the, the um, sister Nadine called and prayed for me. And when she started praying for me, my hand started moving a little bit, but not much. And when she left, it's like the pain came back worse. And my sister, again, she called and she said, how are you feeling? I said, I'm worse. She said, okay. I'm, and she put me on hold and she called Prophetess Moulton. And she spoke to her and she, she came back on the phone. She said, Claudia, my friend is going to call you. Do whatever she says. <laughs> no, I'm desperate. I will do anything to get, get away from all this pain. So um, that was Tuesday. Wednesday, it got worse. Thursday, and now I'm sitting in a chair right now that I slept in for days because I could not go in my bed. I couldn't find any place to get some relief. I, my arm wasn't moving. It was stuck to my side. And if I wanted to move it, I had to use my left hand to move it. And if I tried to move it, the pain that comes with it, it was, I felt like I was going to die. My son, my seven-year-old son, he was afraid of me. He asked, are you going to die? I don't know if he saw death on me or what, but I felt like death was on me. And, you know, Thursday night at about 11 in the night, um, Pastor Moulton called me. I've never met her before, never seen her before, never spoke to her before. And when she called and I answered the phone, I, I was crying. And she said, what's the matter? I'm like, pain all i could say was pain and she said let's get down to business <laughs> and then she started to pray and the first words out of her mouth were satan let her go in the name of jesus and when she said that i felt like someone held me behind here and squeezed it and i don't know if she was seeing or what but she said you hear me i said let her go and immediately I felt the release of being free and my arm started working again. And though I couldn't raise my arm, I could move it like this because for days I couldn't even help myself. I couldn't take a shower. I couldn't do anything by myself. My husband had to do everything for me. Last week, I felt like I was going to die. And when she, when she, she worked and worked in the spirit and, and then she said, go rest. I'm calling you tomorrow. She called me Friday morning and when she called me, I was so excited because my arm, my arm, my right armpit started to get sore because I couldn't move it. I couldn't do anything. And when she called me Friday, I was so excited because my arm started doing this now. And she was like, mm -mm, you're getting healing today. And she prayed again. And when she started ministering saints of God, my arm shot up in the air. And I even went to the hospital and what they diagnosed me with, I needed surgery to correct it. And since last Thursday that Pastor Moulton prayed for me, I haven't taken another pill. I haven't taken another medicine. I am still waving my hand without pain. It could not move for anything at all. But I'm here to tell somebody that the Lord is still working miracles. He's still doing great things. Even if you're waiting for long. I know I may have jumped the line and some of us have jumped as well. But God is sovereign and he sees and he knows. And if you continue to believe, he will come through for you. Just hold on to him because my, my, my healing, my deliverance was instantaneous. And I, when, when she was done praying for me, I went and I took a shower. I went and I cooked. I immediately, not the next day or the next day, immediately I started to do everything for myself. So I'm here to tell somebody that God is still a good God and he's still working miracles. And I just want to say again, ma'am, thank you so much, Reverend Pastor Moulton for praying for me. And I just thank God for his miracle and his signs and his wonders. I am so excited about the love of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Minister. Um, God bless you, uh, Elder or Minister Tyrell. There was one person who received the Holy Ghost. Can can we squeeze their hand? Squeeze her in. 
Yes, yes. Okay, so we, we've had multiple persons. I think I stopped counted after we reach about six or seven, but multiple persons have received the Holy Ghost on the line, three at a time, two at a time, and one of those persons are here, and in a, 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 about a minute or less, Sister Kamisha Miller, just go ahead and raise your hand so they can uh, release your mute, and you're going to come in the room and just tell us uh, briefly of your experience in getting the Holy Ghost on the line. Kamisha Miller, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And while uh, we're looking for Miller to come in, Kamisha, yes, Kamisha is with uh, Jacqueline, I believe, Green. Is that you, Kamisha? Amen. Come on in, in the name of the Lord. Jesus. Hi. Bless God. God. Bless Go ahead. You. Thank you. Thank you, people of God. Thank you so much. All right. Um, good night, everyone. I just want to give my testimony on receiving the Holy Ghost. All right. We, prophetess had called for a three-day Esther fast. Now, I am, I am actually a new convert. One year within um, being baptized, I have I've gone on um, fasting, but not for long right um possibly for three hours six hours that's the most i've never gone on for not eating for three days but i had things to do and i said okay this is what needs to be done and the holy ghost was telling me that this needs to be done right i went on three day fast i didn't i didn't go from the six till six i went from 12 to 12 the, the 24 hours actually when I went from that time, I tell you, I was not hungry, guys. I only drank water for those three times, um, three days. And it was, I don't know. Afterwards, we had some prior meeting. And can I tell you that each time we had the prior meeting after and the time when I had to pray between that time, I was so filled. I didn't feel hungry. I, I love food, you know, don't get me wrong, you know. But none of that, guys. And... Um, on February the 13th, um, evangelist, evangelist actually said, um, there are persons online who, who need the Holy Ghost come in, unmute yourself. And she said it again, unmute yourself. So I said, okay, I'm on mute, right? And some other persons came in at the same time. And... Let me tell you something, guys. You see, when you're hungry and thirst for righteousness' sake, God is a giving God. He does what you ask at times. Because what happened was that one of the things I had fasted for was to receive the Holy Ghost. Because I believe that receiving the Holy Ghost and doing His work, His will, you will get closer and closer to God. Guys, I went on that fast and I went into that. Um, when evangelist said guys holy ghost time and so on i went into it and i said okay god i'm not leaving without the holy ghost actually said it before evangelist started i said i'm not leaving tonight until I, this morning until i get the holy ghost mm -hmm. and the team was there they were they were cheering me on basically they were helping me through the process and a voice my voice actually came to me and said during the time when I was carrying and they said, they, they muted me about three times saying, come on, Kamisha, come on. And during the time when I was muted and um, at the time when I was carrying, I was saying to myself, well, with my own voice, that no, Kamisha, we are said that not, uh, your ear prophetess said that, your ear evangelist said that, that's kind of your word. And I would not speak in tongues. And then evangelist and prophetess came back in and prophetess said, okay, no, Kamisha, you need to believe. You need to speak the word that God has said. And during that time, I, I don't know. I, God, the Holy Ghost just said, okay, calm down. I just calmed right down and started to speak, the, speak to God in his heavenly language. And I, oh my God, I am so grateful because I just feel even closer to him. I try to do my best to do all that I need to do. Get read his word, pray his word, whatever it needs to be done. But I'm thanking Jesus for this prayer line. 
because I'm normally I'm normally not somebody to wake up at a certain time. I'm not normally somebody to not eat for some particular time. I'm just thanking Evangelist and I'm thanking Prophetess Moulton and Evangelist Stoddard for not stopping the tarrying. And I'm thanking God for giving me the gift of the Holy Ghost during that time. Thank you, people. God bless you. God bless you. So Sister Kamisha said she heard the Holy Ghost, but she thought it was herself. And when she released and let God take over, she began speaking in heavenly language. My God, what testimonies to encourage us in the Lord, to encourage our faith. Hallelujah. This tonight, my God, greetings to all the workers of the Lord. Continue to do the work. Do not come down. Continue. My God, my God, your labor will not be in vain. God bless everyone on the line tonight. Over to you, Minister Tyrell. In, in, Jesus. in Jesus' name, God is moving. A call to prayer. Prayer is an anointing. It's a spirit. Amen. That comes from God. A push. Let the Holy Ghost push you into prayer. You will enjoy it. Amen. So this is the Light to the Nations Apostolic Church, Grand Cayman, pastored by Pastor Prophet, uh, Prophetess um, Moulton, Angela Moulton. And so it's 70 days of prayer. So everybody screenshot the link. Amen. Let me read it out. 818-9319-1979, passcode 7777. So my um, assistant production persons will post in the chat the Zoom ID amen and also on youtube we will post that id let me repeat it 818-9319-1979 past code 7777 amen and so we can't take all the prayer requests tonight because we are going to ask you shortly what we're going to tell you shortly what to do amen but if we can't take you tonight we are going to have an overflow you have to be in the Zoom room tonight to have your prayer requests addressed directly, prayed for over the Zoom line. If you can't get in, amen, join the prayer. Wake up tomorrow, amen, 3 o'clock and be on the prayer line. And don't just listen to people praying, but you pray, amen. Uh, it's not about Pastor Moulton, it's not about Stoddart, it's not about Michelle, it's not about me, it's about Jesus. We are just bridges of faith that connect to the man christ jesus amen ministry is happening in the breakout rooms amen we ask you to wait a little while and then when the room clears up you can go into the breakout rooms as a prayer lots of people in the breakout rooms getting their deliverance and word of faith amen and power of god i'm sure is being poured out there amen let me ask um pastor moulton to come on in um, pastor moulton we have denise mcfarlane She's at our beck and call. Amen. As long as her husband allows her and her child, Dominic. Amen. She's at our beck and call. Any song you want. Amen. Denise, um, as long as she's with us, will minister in the name of the Lord Jesus. So it's over to you. Um, do you want folks to begin to raise their hands? Pastor Moulton. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, okay. Althea, you've been quiet. Come on in. Where is she? Amen. Althea stuttered in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. While Althea gets ready, I believe her normal format is folks, raise your hand and we take it in order. So I see Nicola, raise your hand. You're just going to state what you need the Lord to do. I know some of you have some very long, complicated stories, but we don't have all night. Just tell. Um, just open the request. What you want the Lord to do. All right. So, <laughs> amen. Yes. And we will pray by faith. Let me ask. All right. So, I see the first three. So, let me just ask him. Um, Nicola Smith. Amen. Good Nicola. night. Praise the Good Lord. Good night. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Stay I'm just asking for prayer. I'm just asking for prayer. To release a house that were that were approved unto me, so I'm just asking to pray so I could get it. Father, mighty God of Father, 
Lord, I call upon your name at this moment, Lord Jesus. I pray that you locate, locate the house of your daughter right now, mighty God. She said it, it has been approved for her, mighty God. And so must believe, must believe you shall receive your start. I pray Amen. for the relief of that house to be handed down to her father, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that we chance every obstacle, every setback, anything that will come in the way to block it. We demolish it right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, release the phone line, the emails, mighty God, that they will inform her, mighty God, of the release of this house. And Father God, I decree and declare, and I speak it done right now in Jesus' name. House be released now. This woman of God, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 In Jesus' name, just believe God. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Jesus. God. Yeah. The Lord said it, the house has been already given unto you, woman. It has already been given, said the Lord, to you. Thank so you, it's yours. Thank you, Lord. It's yours, yes, God. I receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Kimberly. Amen. Go ahead. In the name of the Lord Jesus with your request. Kimberly. Sister Kimberly. All right. While Sister Kimberly gets ready, let me ask Elaine. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just lift your faith. Lift your faith. Elaine? Yes. Go ahead and state your Me? request. Uh, pain in the kidneys and stomach pain in the kidneys and She says stomach problems. Pain in the kidney and stomach problems. Kidneys and problem and stomach problems. Your name is Elaine, you said? Yes. Almighty yes, God of Alaskan Father, I present Sister Elaine to you right now. Father God, I present her kidneys and her stomach for you right now, God. I pray, God, you transfuse your blood into her body. I pray for healing and deliverance, God, in her stomach and her kidney. I pray, God, that every condition, every disease shall be canceled. It shall die out and dry up by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I speak life, Shanda, in every organ of the body of the lady right now. I command, I command her organs to come to order in Jesus' name. Ilaba came to confusion in the body, loss of confusion in the body. But in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every organic confusion of your organs. In the name of Jesus, I cotodia to you now to be healed in Jesus' name. I take authority over I release healing now. Be healed now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Faith. I want you to live. Your, your faith is weak. You need to believe. Believe it now. That God is going to do it now. Now, this minute. In the name of belief from your mind. And I release believing faith in your heart. Reba Shekendo must believe me. Must believe me. You must believe with all your heart, said God. And so now, God Almighty, as I cancel unbelief, release believing faith in your heart. I release it now to believe in Jesus' name. There is power in Jesus' name. Rebo Shekitum Haya. I command pain to go now. I call it out. Get out. I serve you notice in Jesus' name. Be healed. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. God is moving by his spirit. Receive it, Elaine. You receive it by faith. Elaine, you. receive it by faith. Yes. yes. Receive yes. It. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Prophetess Moulton, there is a 
There are some cases here that can't be spoken about, but we ask you to pray for Kimberly Grant. Amen. Uh, great trouble in the marriage. We ask you to pray for the marriage of Kimberly Grant. She has posted her request. Hallelujah. It's a deep one. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Holy Shama. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I call Jesus. upon the God of heaven and the earth. I call upon the God of creation, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are God all by yourself. I present the marriage of Kimberly before you right now, mighty God. Elabasi, faith in God, shall be done in the name of Jesus. Your prokosheto atabasa keto mosheke. Your prior request shall be answered. Now will I arise to God. Believe me that I'm going to make changes now. I'm going to bring about a change in your life. You will see what I do, said God. Kimberly, a Korobosa. Tell her I answer. Tell her I know. Makibo see for faith. I've been waiting for her faith to be released. I see her faith now. Now I see your heart believing. I am going to change it. I lose a Korobosi. I lose a Kundusika. I lose a Kotoraba. I lose it. I lose it, said God. I lose it for you. Yes, I lose it. Mighty God. Look to me. Look to me, said God. Don't you cry anymore. Weep no more. No more, said God. No, you will see. No, you will see me. No, you will see me. I and lift it up, said God. You have the request here. I see it. Before you write it, I know it. I see you. I see your tears. I see your pain. I see how oh, your heart is hurting. Broken, broken heart. Don't divorce. No divorce. No divorce. Do not divorce. to you. Wait on me. I am going to fix it for you. He will be conducive. He will be under the seat. He said, yes, God, do not divorce. I'm going to fix it. Don't you know I have the power? He loves you. 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 But the enemy, the enemy, the enemy. Don't you know? I know it. I know it. Wait, wait. And trust me, said God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That's it. Yes, yes, praise God. Amen. God is moving by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Folks, there are many requests. I can't read the inboxes. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't read all of the inboxes, but you have to use a raise hand icon. Amen. And um, once we get to you, then we open your mic. If we can't get to you, no, please remember in the morning, three o'clock, to come on in and to join the Ministry International Prayer Conference. Michelle, are you there? Amen. Out there, are you there? Greetings. Amen. Praise God, Lady Althea. Amen. Your mom may have dropped off. Is your mom there? Providence, are you in the room? Yes. Amen. While we work on the internet thing, um, Lady Althea, can you continue the prayer? Praise God, praise God, praise God. Um, Amen. I, I saw a request earlier. Somebody um, has some eye issues. They're having some problems with their eyes. Um, and so I'm just going to pray. And if you have that issue as well, then we just come in agreement that you're going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, we call on your name, your great name, because you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the rose of Sharon and the prince of peace. Father God, we said if we abide in you and you abide in us, then we ask anything of you, God, and you will do it. And so, God, we come tonight, mighty God, in faith, believing, God, that our requests 
is being fulfilled even now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, your servants, mighty God, who have eye issues, mighty God, there's a burning sensation in the eyes. We pray right now, God, that you will release your blood, Abu Shaya, into their eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, mighty God, that you will operate on their eyes even now in the name of Jesus. We command that discomfort, we command that pain, that fatigue to stop, to go now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We serve you notice with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, but God, we release the blood of Jesus in their eyes and God, that as they open their eyes, even now, right now, instantaneous healing and Mandiosha is being released in the name of Jesus, mighty God, as the blind eyes were opened so God, even now, open their eyes in the name of Jesus and we declare and decree that it is done, that healing has taken place and that they will begin to testify of the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Pastor Moulton, are you back with us? Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, we praise God. Amen. We pray stability over the internet. Somebody says stability in Jesus' name. Amen. Marcia Danhai. Amen. God bless you, Mr. Did you hear the um, instruction about the marital request? Um, that she should not divorce. Yes. Yes, we heard that. Yes. Okay. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, Marcia. Um, Althea? Yes. You want to come on in and, and with mom? Are you able to come in now with mom? Okay. Um, anything. Just, yeah. Just, just good. All right. So I'll just put you both up. Amen. And you will just help mom with these requests. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Go ahead. In Jesus' name. Marcia? Good I'm asking you for prayer for my chest and back pain, chest pain and back pain. Okay, chest pain and back pain. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, mighty God. You said, by your stripes, we are healed. That's your word, which means healing is our portion. Healing Amen. is the children's bread. Father God, we pray that you, oh God, right now will come in the room of your servant and that you will lay your hand upon our back in the name of Jesus. We command that pain of discomfort. We command Jesus to go in the name right of now. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command to leave the body in Jesus' name. We command to leave now. Come on, lift your hands. The God is sitting in your feet. The God is sitting in your feet. In the name of Jesus. Come on, just raise your right hand on your chest. Ela Rabba Shadio Sataya. Rest your right go, hand on right. your chest. Nana Rabaku Shadai. And say healing in the name of I Jesus. Nana Rabaku Shadai. Come on, healing in the name of Jesus. Mando Shadai. Hey God, where your heart is beating fast, man, you feel like you're suffocating and you cannot breathe. Man, Man, can do Heal now, 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 right now. In the name of Jesus, it is done. We command that pain. We command it to go. We command it to stop. We rebuke it and we send it back to the pit of hell in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Lift your faith. Kayan Barnett. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor Moulton. Kayan Barnett. Amen. Go ahead. State your request. Hi, my request is the prayer for my heart. I'm going to present. I develop a condition where my heart rate would race up to 230. And so right now, the doctors are thinking what they're going to be doing. So I'm asking for prayer for that and for my stomach. Thank you. 
Amen. Go ahead, Father go ahead. God, I present Karen Barnes right now before you, mighty God. Father God, you are the great cardiologist right now. Hallelujah. I pray, God, stretch out your wounded hand in the heart. My vas close up. Yes, God. Father God, you come against every closing up of the vase in the heart. Release it now, God. Release the heart. Release the heart vase. Mighty God, we command the blood to flow. Mighty God. Mighty God, we speak. Mighty God, we speak. Mighty God, we are sending the heart. We send the heart of the heart. Release the divine blood of Jesus in the heart. Mighty God, I command normal wind of the heart. I, I release, I release, I release, I release the power of the blood in the heart. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, heart be healed. Rebo shake it to Bahia. Heart valves closed in, but I command. Echo the ass the candy of Bahia. Mighty God open. Echo the massa. Release the power of the blood. Candy of Bahia. Be healed in your heart now. Now. In Jesus' name. Release healing. Healing. Healing said God. Healing. 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 Right now, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. Regulate the heart. Mighty God, we release the heart to have its right beat. Mighty God, mighty God, I release the vital sign to become normal in the heart. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, mighty God, we command total and complete in your body. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, yes, we come against worry and stress upon the heart. Oh, heart, race it. Worry, worry, worry. Yes, God, we command the spirit of worry to leave the mind. In Jesus' name. Calm yourself, peace. I speak peace to your heart and your mind. I speak peace in your body. I give you the peace of God. Lord God, your word said, you will, I will keep in perfect peace those who might have said on him. Mighty God, I release the mind of Christ into her mind. I command peace, peace, peace. Stress, yes, God. Release the power of the blood against stress. I come against stress in Jesus' name. And I release peace in your heart. Mighty God, in Jesus' name, be thou healed now in your heart. And Lord, tell you thanks in Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't Amen. you worry no more, said God. Don't you worry no more, said God. I have done it. I have done it. It is done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's a, a, a urgent prayer request for Israel. Allen, asthmatic attack. You mean, we saw what happened recently in Jamaica with a young lady dying in the hospital because of asthmatic attack. And, you know, the spirit of COVID got gone out, attacking the lungs. But um, she has an asthmatic attack and many other complications. Amen. That sometimes the enemy attacks. So I'm going to ask, um, um, you know, the team to pray. For Israel Allen. Allen. In the room to pray. Right God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, God Almighty, that you will have a shanda de kotoda in the body. the says God. I pray, God, you heal every other lens in that body. I pray, God, you pour out your blood, Jesus, the blood that flows from Calvary in her respiratory system right now, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for healing right now. Release the blood, eh, Koroboshanda. God Almighty, I come against some bosses of the body. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, I come against blood clots. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, I pray to transfuse your blood in the body, mighty God. As a blood thinner right now, mighty God, release my kubu shanda fire. I pray, God, that you breathe the breath of life in the lungs. In the name of Jesus, I release normal breathing. Mighty God, I come against collapsing and faintness. In the name of Jesus, you will not collapse, you will not fade. In the name of Jesus, be thou healed right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the blood, release, 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 release in, in Jesus. I can do it. Yes, God. No, when I rise up. God, the healing power, the healing power, the healing power of the name of Jesus. Be thou healed in Jesus' name, in your lungs, in your respiratory system right now. I can for every kotori of a satori of a higher. 
I cancel every earthly condition from your body in Jesus' name, never to return. In Jesus' name, be thou healed complete now. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. She did it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Rhodesia. Amen. Yes, Rhodesia. Amen. In Jesus' name, state your request, Rhodesia. Amen. As God continues to move, Amen. Praise the Lord. Did you say Rhodesia? Rhodesia. That's the name I'm seeing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, I'm asking prayer for my marriage. Husband, I've walked out three years. Okay, you went down low, Rodisha. Can you move your hand from the microphone on the phone? Yes, go ahead again, Rodisha. Yes, I'm asking prayer for my marriage. My husband, I've walked out about three years now. So I'm still trusting God. Amen. Hallelujah. Almighty God, my last father, Lord, I present your daughter, Rodisha, Rodisha before you, my God. Lord, you know where your husband is located at this time. You are omnipresent and omniscient, God. And I pray, God, you locate him now in the spiritual realm, mighty God. Release the anointing, God, to arrest his mind. According to your will, it be done right now, mighty God. Mighty God, she's believing by faith that her husband will come home back to her, mighty God. I pray, God Almighty, he will shut the Bahia. Release the anointed power, mighty God, and send forth your angels, almighty God. Just like you send the angels, God, take Peter out of prison. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, he thought he was sufficient. But God, I pray now, manifest your power. Manifest your glory, almighty God. Visit that husband, and write in his brain, in his heart, in his mind, what you God want him to do now? Reba can, can confusion. Remove confusion from his brain and his mind. Yes, mighty God, everything that is attached to him that is unrighteous and unlawful, mighty God, and remove it now, mighty God. Cut it asunder. Loose him, God, because you came to set the captive free. I pray, Jesus, hallelujah, that you remove every entanglement from his mind. And that you lead the mighty God on the path of righteousness right back home to his wife. I summon him. I call him to come forth right now and go back to his wife in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I call him to come home in the name of Jesus. Return now in Jesus' name. Mighty God, let him return now in Jesus' name. Send your angels to arrest him and then cuff him, God, and take him back to where he belongs and lose them and let him go. In the name of Jesus. Lose him and let him go now. Lose him, I say, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let him go back to his body. In the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name, it shall be done. Hallelujah. Now, say God, in Jesus' name. The Father will tell him for you, thank you for it right now. You will see him. My power, and you will see my glory, say God. And I've heard your prayer for this year. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your faith. Amen. Um, Here we go home. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Yes, we believe God. We believe Thank God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Folks, remember, you have to use your raise hand icon and we unmute you and give the request. If we can accommodate tonight, join the ministry tomorrow at 3 a.m. Wake up and join the line and you can stage your request. Amen. We are going until prophetess says stop. Amen. And the Lord says stop. Amen. I'm going to ask the warriors assigned to the breakout room, please go in. Amen. And assist. Amen. Someone in his room three. Holy Ghost 3, I believe, go and assist and uh, co-host, join the room. Amen. One of you until a prior warrior gets there in Jesus' name. Raj, go ahead in Jesus' name. 
Good night. <coughs> I'm asking for a miracle. For I'm currently paralyzed from the waist down. What's your name again? What's your name? Raj. 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 Hallelujah. That's his name, prophetess. Yes. The name of the other person. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for him separately. Yeah. Raj. Almighty God of the Father, you have heard the requests of Raj. You are the God of the heaven and the earth. You made man in your own image and likeness. I see him. I see him, said God. Yes, Lord. The pain is back. I pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you will transfuse your blood in every organs of the body, in the circulatory system, in his nervous system, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I call the organs to come alive. I wake up your kushanda makotoria bianda. Every neuropathic system in your body, I wake it up in Jesus' name. I cause life to come to order in your body. I speak movement and life. I release the life of Jesus Christ in your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Ela Messiah, release healing now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Rebo Shekhet of the shackles of the body. I break every shackles from your body in Jesus' name. I break every chain of Satan from your body. I command the chains to be broken. Break it. I break every paralysis chain now. I command it to break. Break, break, break in Jesus' name. Break in Jesus' name. Release the anointed. Almighty God, you shall break the yoke now. I'll break every yoke of paralysis in Jesus' name. I'll break it in the power of the blood of Jesus. We will shake it Let your blood speak for him, God. Rubo Sante Makundu Seketa, rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. I say in Jesus' name. Today, 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 say God, I heal now in Jesus' name. Be thou healed now in Jesus' name. Roll the sword of Almighty God and release complete divine healing right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. God, I pray for a testimony right now in Jesus' name. Are you are you safe, sir? Are you safe? No. No? No, no, not at Okay. You need to give your life to the Lord tonight. I saw you that like you sit up and turn around and like one foot came off. One you need to give your life to God tonight. God is going to heal you completely. You need to surrender your heart to the Lord and give him a chance and get baptized in his name, get the Holy Ghost. He'll have a use you, my code of a I'm going to use this, that God, to declare my name and my word. And God said he's going to use you to declare his name and his word. But tonight he wants you to give, give your life to him. Amen. 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 Oh. I'm gonna, Sister, Minister Marcy, are you on the line? Could you sing this song, Just As I Am Without One Plea? But that yeah. I've never said for me. Oh, love of God, I come. I come. I love yeah. you. I want to listen to the words of the song. Yeah. For God said tonight is your night. Surrender your life. Call here in the microphone. Yes, yes. Just as I am without 
one plea but that thy blood was shed for me and as thou bids me come to Just as I am without one, but that the blood was shed for me and as thou. Just do that one more time. Oh, Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Glory you. to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Pastor Moulton. Thank you, Sister Denise. Hallelujah. Amen. We have some more requests. Um, Pastor Moulton, just tell me when you want to stop. I know you have prior three o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, just tell me how many more requests you can take. Okay, let's see if I want. Huh? Five, five, more. five more. All right, folks, as I said, I can't read all of your many requests that are your privately inboxing. Um, I Minister, can't possibly. Uh, Morgan, Go ahead. What, what you could do, um, which we normally do on the prayer line, yeah. is that you could ask her to just pray a general prayer for the Yes, we can do that at the end. Yes. yes. So we're trying to get through as many as possible. If you can't, um, you know then we ask you if you can't get through then we ask you tomorrow morning to join the team at 3 a.m we'll put back up the flyer with the id and so we're expecting you to fill out that zoom room tomorrow with your request on youtube amen and also on zoom sandria marriott go ahead with your request in jesus name yes yes excuse me minister Father, that gentleman, Mr. Go, Mr. Rogers? Raj, yes, Raj. Raj, he has come up in the room. The Lord is not through with him as yet. Mr. Roger. Mr. Raj. All right, let me ask him to yes, unmute. Mm -hmm. Okay, unmute yourself. Yeah. Now, yes, you have heard the Lord is calling you tonight. And you have heard the words of the song, and you heard the word of the Lord, and what plans God have for you. Okay, are you willing to surrender your life to God tonight? You've got a chance in your life to accept the Lord as your personal Savior. 
right in the spiritual line. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you declare that we are born in sin and shape in iniquity. Iniquity means lawlessness, not governed by the laws of God, not following the commandments, the protocols, and the rules, the word of God. And when we just do that, we sin against God. Now, 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17 declares that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. When you surrender your life to God, it's going to be a brand new man. John 3, 16 declares, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish for the everlasting life. Amen? But the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And so right now, you know, I'm going to ask you to repent of your sin before the Lord. You're going to talk to him, in your, speak to him in your own way. You're going to ask his forgiveness of sin. Ask him to forgive you and tell him, yes, God, I'm ready. I come. I need you, Jesus. Take my life. Let it be consecrated unto you. Give yourself to him. Repent and ask him to come to your heart. And ask him to forgive you of your sins. Amen. And follow this yeah. repentance. After surrender to God, you have repented. I'm going to pray a prayer of courage for you again. For salvation. And I'm going to ask Minister Tyrell to take your information so he can assign you to a pastor to be, be baptized in Jesus' name. Amen? So I'm going to yeah. ask you now just to unmute your mic and just pray that prayer of repentance and give yourself to God that you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior of God's spiritual life tonight. Go ahead and pray. Just speak in your own words. How you understand it? Oh, if I Give myself over to you, Lord God. I repent from all my sins. I accept you in my life as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. My brother, Raj, tonight. There's no brother, Raj, surrendering his life to you, mighty God. We declare it and decree as Brother Raj. We accept him and welcome him to the family of God. As he penned in baptism, mighty God, and a way to baptize in your name, Jesus. I pray that his cover his mind and his heart and soul under your blood. I pray for divine salvation to enter his heart, mighty God, that he will baptize from the corner of his head to the sole of his feet and his heart be baptized and turn and change him, mighty God. I pray, God, that as he give his life and baptize in water, that you're filled with the Holy Ghost and fire and power. Mighty God, you said that you're going to use him to declare your word and your name, mighty God. You're going to heal him. You're going to raise my mighty God to be a witness for you, mighty God. And so this night, Makusha and Devaya, you could do see any Mahusa kid that I see. All the pain will leave your body. You shall walk. You shall run. You shall skip. You shall jump. You shall live and declare my words to God. You shall testify of me, Allah see. Bring souls to me. You shall obey my voice. You shall listen to my voice. You shall be obedient to me, said God. Hallelujah. I raise you up. I will raise you up, said God. I will raise you up. You shall be a testimony unto me. Hallelujah, said God. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, saints, put your worship God in the chat. Glorify God and thank God that one soul has come to the Lord tonight. Yes. Amen. Every good joy that one soul tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God you, bless Jesus. You. So, Raj, um, you're going to be contacted. My wife, Heart to Heart Assistant, is going to inbox you right now. She's going to take your name, your number, email address. Right, Raj? So, look out for that contact coming from her so we can connect you with the church and get you baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Sandra and Marriott. Go ahead, Sandra. Sandra, go in once. Hello. Amen. Okay. Praise God. State your request. 
Yes, um, I'm asking for prayer for my mom in her right foot. This left foot? Okay, her, her left foot. She, I've been complaining about something, like something is in the foot, in her foot bottom, and she's always asking us to look for it, but we, are, we haven't seen anything. And recently she's starting to walk like on the side of her foot, like because we said how much it's feeling her. And also like she's having some circulation issues as well because I'm seeing like some veins start coming up in her feet. And also for myself as well, I'm having um, circulation problems as well. Amen. Mighty God, everlasting Father. Lord, I call upon you right now, God. I present your daughter and her mother with the foot and circulation problem. Mighty God, in your name right now, Jesus. I pray, God, that you will stretch out your wounded hand. Your wounded hand. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I speak divine healing of the wounded hand of Christ. Anointing your feet. Increasing circulation, Lord, in your body. Father God, transfuse your blood in the body. Mighty God, get the blood transfusion. Mighty God, let your blood be a blood in the body, mighty God, to release blood clot and thrombosis on the body and command the blood to circulate in the body and function as it ought to function in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release total and complete healing. Mighty God, look to me. Echo, no more sleep. Nothing is in her feet. It's a kotoria, but under a kotoria. It's spiritual, yes, God. Mashanda Makaya. I pray, God, that every evil spiritual contact in the foot, mighty God, will be eliminated, will be canceled, will be bound and bound to hell. I command it to leave now in Jesus' name. Mighty God, wrap her foot in the blood of Jesus. Wrap her foot, God, in the blanket of your blood. And we cancel every evil demonic attack from that foot. We curse it. In Jesus' name, we bind it to hell. We command it to go now. In Jesus' name, release, release. I release your foot to walk as God have you to walk. I say, walk in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in the Messiah, the Messiah be healed. Messiah say be healed. Messiah say be healed. Messiah say be healed. In Jesus' name, release. Release, God. Release, mighty God. Release your foot now, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you, God, for healing. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for doing it right now. In Jesus' name, amen. That she has consecrated olive oil, she could just use it now and just anoint it. Do you yes. have consecrated oil? Yeah. Amen. Yes, we have some. You have just pour some in your right hand and just anoint it right now. The woman of God has prayed and we are mm -hmm. all on the line lifting our faith. It is God that is doing the healing, not her. It is God that is healing you. Lift your faith and believe. Mm -hmm. That you are Hold up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, receive your healing. Open your mouth and receive your healing. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, come on, stand up on your foot. Come on, Hallelujah! 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 H
Hey, I'm going to invite Michelle to come on in the room and to just pray for the daughter. Circulation problem. Michelle Campbell, the daughter says she's having circulation problems. We just want to pray for the daughter as well. Michelle? Here, go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we bless your name, Jesus. Oh, God, we give you glory, Father. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy. Uh, you are the God of miracles. You are the God of signs. You are the God of wonders. God, you said these things shall follow them that believe. My God, my God, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we put uh, God, your daughter before you with circulation problem. My God, oh, Father, you made her, you created God, every organ, every vessel, God, everything that works in the body. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we come in agreement and we declare, my God, proper functionality of every vessel in the body, every vessel that carries blood. We speak to them right now to function. Yes, Holy Spirit, we clear everything every artery we clear my god every clot right now in the name of jesus and we declare our god our holy ghost blood thinner running through god every vessel right now that carries blood our god from the brain to the body mighty father in the name of jesus we declare clearance holy spirit clearance our god even as she believe on you right now for a miracle we call forth the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch your daughter right now. Touch your daughter right now. Yes, Holy Ghost, touch. My God, we declare your healing completion. God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. My God, everything will be cleared right now in the name of Jesus. God, for your honor and for your glory, we touch and agree and we call it so in Jesus' mighty name hallelujah yes in jesus name in jesus name hallelujah yes we touch and agree my god hallelujah hallelujah victory belongs to jesus amen in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you we believe god amen t clear amen t clear we have one go amen in the name of the lord jesus t clear Going once. Amen. Good night, Go everyone. Amen. State your request briefly in Jesus' name. Good night, everyone. I'm just asking for prayer for my back. I have a constant pain in my back. I'm on my left side and my left breast. I also have constant pain in my head at times. Sometimes when I think, I have this constant pain. Sometimes it lasts for three days, sometimes more. I also ask for prayer for, to get a house to live in where I'm presently staying. I get notice and I can't find anywhere to stay, can't find anywhere to live. I have outstanding rent and bills are piling up and I'm really having a difficult financial time. So I'm really just asking for prayer for breakthrough and for healing from pain. Thank you. Amen in Jesus' name, team. Amen. We we'll pray in Jesus' name. All right. So Amen. I think we can we can split it in three because it's three different prayer requests. 
So, um, Sister Michelle, you're going to pray about the bills that are piling up for her. And also, as we are praying, if there are anybody else on the line that bills are piling up as well, I want you to come in agreement with this prayer and receive it for yourself in the name of Jesus and Prophetess Mountain. You can pray about the, the pain on the left side of her breast and the pain on the, she's having pains all over her body, mighty God. And then she says that she needs a house. Mighty God to live in. So I will pray about the house in the name of Jesus. And, and I mean, brethren, as we are praying about these things, if you fall into that category, then I ask you to grab a hold of the word and just come in agreement with the word and believe that it is done. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come. Oh, my to God, God. Lord, that you said that Lord, I command to Lord, that you are that I pray that you everyone in right now, my God. Yes, your word. My God, chapter in your word. Worry not about I pray that you everyone in the the Gentiles do. They worry. God, you commanded us. Not yeah, to worry, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, God, 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 God said, your body, and God, I command the pain to be lifted. How they go, they coil not by God, you will supply. I mean, your blood I is the God God the word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your woman's servant. I call upon the God of the heavenly In the name of Jesus, we release to God our bills will be paid out of our lives by on time. Our bills will be paid. God, you're going to stop. I call upon the God of the heavenly and to call everything. I call upon the God of the heavenly and to call everything. I call upon the God of the heavenly and to call God, even in a pandemic, God, you command the son in Asia, God, to be fed by my raven, to be fed by a widow woman, to be fed by a stranger. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus God, my God, and our, our health is coming. God, our financial, my God, will not give up. Everything is clear. Yes, Father, in the eyes, it is all the light is clear. The water is cleared. The rain is cleared. God is cleared. The pain, the cold is cleared. My God commands our help us to help her in the name of Jesus. Release the answer. The spirit of God to release it. Release it. God not only on her, but her entire home. She will be blessed. My God, our neighbors will be blessed. She will be a blessing to her neighbors. Everyone on the street, have a look at she died. God, you command and cover with us. Oh, God, to fill up all the buckets. I got you got to fill up. She died. And it's going to overflow. She's going to feel her community. And we die in the name of Jesus. She's going to spend the money. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you blessing. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. For your people, my God, they said these things the Gentiles seek. My God, she died for you, Father. I've already, my God, made the provision you have already. Hallelujah. Command to say God and reveal even now in the name of Jesus. Her sustenance. Hallelujah. We give you. I command tumor in the brain to cancer. Yes, God. I command tumor to shrink into the stem. I command every cancer from the side to die out and die. The blood of Jesus. I curse cancer. That means I curse the tree. When it was a I curse cancer of death. I curse every goat of cancer. In the name of Jesus, we must the kingdom of fire. I cast the blindness. Yes, Mashaba Kotoria. I pray God that every request of pain in the eyes, the name of and numbness in the body shall be healed. I come against numbness in the body. I cancel it. Mighty God, release the power of your blood in the eyes of the people. And God, I command a call of 
2020 vision to appear. Yes. Remote the kingdom of fire. Yes. I come against insomnia in and sleeplessness and tormented spirit, Lord. tormented the mind of the people. I release the peace of God in the mind of the people. I command healing to their mind, soul, and body. I command restlessness to go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Restlessness, I cancel you. Yes. For the pride in Jesus' name. For the Father, thank you for healing tonight. My God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Marsha, cancel. Yes, God. I present the heart problem. I come against heart attack. My son, I come against some boast of the heart in a Mashanda. I come against every angina, victorious pain in the body. And I cancel angina in Jesus' name. Mighty God, Rebo Koshanda, every hole in the heart shall be eaten. Lord God, in the hole in the heart, I pray that you close it in every hole in the heart. I need it now, God, in Jesus' name. Mighty God, heal now, God. Heal every hole in the heart shall be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come against every putrefying sore upon your body that seems not to be healed. Every putrefying sore upon your foot that don't want to be healed. Mighty God. I speak about that. I must not have a good yard of a shadow. Your foot would not be cut off. I command that foot to be healed now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Recut out of a shadow. I pray that you pour your blood in that beautiful sword. Dry it up now. As that sword should dry up. As that foot be healed now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. Pain on the arm, in the and the arm piece on the heart shall yes. be healed. Yes, it shall be healed. I cancel it now. I cancel it now. In, the in Jesus' name. Yes. Father, we say the thanks tonight. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank, you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. My God, God is moving. My God, by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Iona, go ahead. Iona, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Go ahead in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Go in once. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go in once, twice. The Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord. My request tonight um, is that my life is not the way I want it to be. There are many struggles. I struggled as a single parent over the past four years. Um, presently, I'm a trained teacher, but I'm still receiving the pre-trained salary. I need an upgrade in that area. I just need stability in my life and my home and the bills piling up because during this COVID, I've been getting less than half of my salary. So the struggles are real. Many times I am not able to pay my bills and I have no other source. I have to be looking to God all the time and I won't stop looking to him because I know he's my source. I just need help. I need the help of the Lord. I need intervention. So just pray my strength that I may stay on, stay on board, stay on board aboard the ship because yes. I'm in Jesus. Amen. Well, we prayed for bills. Amen. So grab that prayer, the faith and yes. the anointing in that prayer. Amen. Sister Michelle prayed. So believe by Thank faith you. that it is done and join the ministry tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. Amen. As I they will. continue praying for stability. For, for, for if you want stability in your life, you are going to have to understand that God is faithful. And when you grab a vision of his faithfulness, you will become like him. Right? So you're being conformed to his image. And the image of Jesus is a faithful God. And if he's consistent to you, he wants you to be consistent to him. And that requires you to make a decision. Do I love Jesus more than the things that are destabilizing my spirit, wasting my time? This is the time for you to cut off things and people and entertainment, everything that destabilizes you and pulls you into a place of faithlessness. Amen? So prior, prior is what settles you in God. Amen? So be consistent in that prior. Join the team tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Iona Corona. Go ahead. We have about two or three more. Amen. Corona. 
Go in once. Okay. Bless the Lord. Amen. Yes, so for about four years now, I've been having some crawling, feeling like ants, my feet, my hands, my face. Um, if I stand under a fan or anywhere windy, just feel these things crawling in my body. When I get up in the morning, I feel like there's some things sticking me in my feet. Sometimes they're so numb. If I sit down for too long, my legs become so cramps, but it's just these just like ants, particularly in my limbs, or it's like a web. You will feel that cobweb on you. That's what it feels sometimes. That's been going on a while now, and I'm believing the Lord for my deliverance. Um, prophetess, before you pray, um, I'm going to ask Sister Denise, can you, can you sing this song, By the Blood of Jesus, I Prevail Over, over Sickness? Do you know that one? Is she there, Minister Morgan? Amen, Sister Denise. Amen. Do you have that song in your arsenal? By the blood of Jesus, I prevail. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No
victory belongs to him. The victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Come on, raise your hands. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God for your victory tonight. The victory belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Yes. My God, in the name of Jesus, victory tonight. Amen. Victory tonight. Somebody say victory. Holy, holy, holy. Yes, yes, Dominique, continue to play that prophetic note before the Lord. Play. Ah, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands and worship him. Ah, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, victory is sitting in your house. Deliverance is sitting in your house. You may not get the chance to unmute tonight, but God sees. Faith is the evidence. Faith is your evidence. Somebody pull your victory right now. Corona, pull your victory. Amen. Pull your victory. Pull your victory. Believe God speak his name speak his name speak well of him hallelujah thank you thank you holy god thank you in jesus name as we get back to about two more prayers nelcy then my phone amen in jesus name in jesus name ministry happening tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth yes god is moving yes go ahead nelcy uh, yes, pleasant good night to one everyone. One minute, one minute, Nelsie. Let's get some instructions. For the for the young lady. Oh, the young lady. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Yes, what's her name? What's her name? Let me find her again. What's her name? If she can come back in the room. Yes, just raise back your hand please and also i saw in the chat someone said they had that same feeling in their feet yes right. okay so michelle you can locate her and um just get her back amen in jesus name we remember her name okay i think you just use the last hand that's raised amen in jesus name yes as we lift our faith amen corona yes corona double r corona amen and also minister if you could add to the two other person i saw a request for a five-year-old jacquan who is deaf so uh, my heart went out so i'm not sure if we can add that one before we close out the night for five year old Jacon. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, Amen in Jesus. Repeat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be praying for you now, Corona. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, we adore you, worship you right, Almighty God. She sent her daughter, Corona, mighty God, who said she feel like ants crawling on her body, her way, body, mighty God, she love a see nurse, 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 Eba so called Abbas nurse, no witchcraft, that's a nurse problem. Need to be kind of those symptoms, I can see. Oh, it must be like images crawl over your body. Jesus. You are suffering from a nervous problem. It must be sick. Jesus. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, you are the neurologist, mighty God. I Jesus. pray that you will release your blood in our nervous system. Now, God, Jesus. enter any nerves. Makubushin, diriokurubusa. 
pull up and anoint him to heal the nerves. In the mind, control yes, in the mind. He could reboot in all of our feelings. Ella was shaking the mastic, the nerves. I release divine healing in your head, in your body, in your soul, in the circulatory system now, in the nervous system, in the neurology system right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. She rallies Jesus. I speak healing to her body now to be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Where you are, do you have any water there by you? Yes. A bottle of water. Let me bless it. I go to pour it on your head. The blood of Jesus prevail in the body right now. We must shun the blood in the nervous system right now. Malabas is the pain in your heart. Every stress, every worry, every confusion in your life, mighty God. I can't every put of insanity and madness on your mind. I will release in your mind. I'm going to change it now into the blood by the power of Jesus. Back a massacre mm. her nerves. Yes, God. They could do the most mm. need no witchcraft. Jeez. That witchcraft is your nerves. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, your first miracle, Jesus. You went to the wedding at Canaan. And when the wine was finished, Lord, mighty God, they could was shanda. You told them to fill the water fast with water. Water was your first miracle when you walk this earth for 13 mm -hmm. years, Jesus. As you manifest mm -hmm. yourself in the flesh, by the God, the marriage, the clean up, you, your first miracle on earth in the flesh, God. You change water mm -hmm. into wine. No, God, as your daughter, mm -hmm. Corona, the mm -hmm. only kid that needs to believe my word and be healed. Oh, I, I pray, God, and change mm -hmm. the water into your blood. The blood that flows from Calvary's cross. Mighty God, for you were wounded for corona transgression. You were bruised God, for iniquities that commanded nine years ago. The secret of the peace upon her. And by your stripes, the Lord is healed. By the power of the stripes of Jesus Christ. By the power of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus prevails over every sickness, every disease of the mind. They come on standard on the nervous system of God. In Jesus' name, I pray God and change it with your blood. Mighty God, in the Name. I pray God and take the coals of fire upon the altar of the children of Almighty God and release it in the Kotori of Divine healing now. Release in the mind of Shandam Ashek. Again, come, come against with this one. Jeez. That is so similar. Um, Minister Terrell just want to share this testimony for two minutes for Corona's faith to be lifted up. Jesus. I was ministering in yeah. New York about 2015 or you know, 16. And this lady, she had a similar thing that crawling was in her head. She had been having it for years, been to many doctors and everywhere. At night, I prayed for her. The Lord said it was her nerves. I didn't even know that God would go to the state of nerves. I thought there was something wrong with her. You know, something is wrong with her. 
But the Lord said to the nurse, and the Lord said to me, consecrate the water into his blood and, and pour it on her head, mighty God. She was been sleeping for days, for months. Jesus. And the next night she came back and said, it is all gone. No more crawling your head since that. Yes. Nothing crawling up the her body. Yes. And she was totally healed. Yes. Her mm. Lord, you are healed tonight in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You are healed. Hallelujah. I said you are healed. You were testified mm. of the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. God bless you, Kerona. Amen. Prophetess, we have an urgent request. Adam Fullerton admitted in UHWI with Kawasaki disease. His father, Elder Fullerton, requesting prayer. His fever is uncontrolled. He's seven years. His immune system is badly compromised and the disease, if not controlled, can affect the other organs. The family is desperately asking us to join in prayer. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Though you were dead, yet shall you live. He said, I can be anything you want me to be. I am that I am. I come to the God that I am that I am. We mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No God Almighty. You see your son, seven years old, admitted in verse after. I pray God Almighty who shanda makotoda shanda for God is the spirit and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. I pray God Almighty that you ride upon the wings of the wind. Echo the Boshanda. I pray God that you will step down your Holy Spirit into the body of that child. Mighty invisible God. Take the walk in that body. Eh. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Reboko shete. Heal out in Jesus' name. Reboko shanda. I command every sickness, yeah. every disease, yeah. every fever, yes. every kutosa, every kuyondo, every kataraba yeah. to lose their stronghold from the body of the child. I release the koshindia. I release the akabahuda. I release the power of yes. the blood of yes. Jacob Makentasi Naki Bendo Nokobo Soto Yukoba and the Kotodi of stay loose and be healed yes. in the name of Jesus. I pray God that you, mighty God, put up your sailing now, God. Yes. Put up your syringe, God. I pray. I pray. I pray God they give him a blood transfusion and mm. take out the blood of the child right now, God. Mm. And release your blood. Mighty God, transfuse your blood. Remove mm. his biological blood and put it. Shut up. Jesus be healed. Yes, God. Yes. And release your divine blood that for recovery in the body of a child. Raise it up, God. In Jesus' name. Fever is going down. Yes, God. Yes. Fever is going down. Yes, God. Signs and a wonder. Ketaba asked told her to anoint the child with oil from his head to his feet. Consecrate the oil and anoint the child with oil. Anoint him, said God. Get the message to whoever do that request to anoint that child with consecrated oil from his head to his feet. Yes, God. He shall not die. He shall not die. He shall not die. No, my son will live. My son will live, said God. Preacher man. The preacher man shall not die. The preacher man shall live. Mashiki knows the enemy see. You see. The enemy see him and lose the end of those special child. Roll the stone away. Life. Life. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus, I yes. speak the life of Christ. Come on now. In the body of the child. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Yes. I come against every the immune weakness in the immune system that is yes. weak. I yes. pray for divine strength 
Yeah. I release the power of the Holy Ghost this body oh to strengthen you. Raise up God. No more weakness in the body. You like a tiriander, born with that disease. You born with it. But I speak healing. For God, you are the resurrection life. You are complete in the body of that child. Show yourself mighty and strong. Yeah. I tell you, he's a preacher man. Yes, God. Mm. And I must say to you, rise up. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for this right now. And the of his head to the of his feet be no more. In Jesus' name, amen. Prophetess, as you were praying, just, just want to confirm, I was going to tell you to cancel untimely death, but also to cancel COVID from wherever he they have placed him in that hospital. Just cancel that nasty demonic COVID-19 spirit. Father, locate your son. I pray, God, you cancel every COVID-19 disease from its atmosphere. No contamination of COVID-19 will affect it. I rebuke it. Mighty God, sit in his lungs. In Jesus' name, I speak life. And I cancel every time of silence of the enemy. Or you could lose the tear, no lose the Messiah's eye. No death. My son shall not die. Preacher man shall live. No lose the tear that to preach the gospel. Teach him my word. Teach him my word, said God. Hey, gospel to nation. Yoshi could do, could be Rosa. You start preaching at tender age, said the Lord. Now will I arise in him. Brilliant. He's brilliant. He's a brilliant child. Very brilliant child. Yes, God. I thank you for healing him now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We just have two more to go. Nelsie, then my phone. Amen. And the rest of folks, you have to join the prayer tomorrow. I've posted the link in the chat. Amen. This is the time for prayer. Your call to prayer, 3 a.m. Amen. 70 days of prayer. God is moving. My God, by spirit, Nelsie Williams. Amen, in Jesus' name. Nelsie, go ahead. Call in once. Yes, good night. Amen. In Jesus' name, I'm go requesting ahead. prayer for... I'm having assets of the administrator from 1991 until now, and all that we have done, nothing. So I'm requesting prayer for the release of the assets. Um... At the administration, it was, it's a will? No, he didn't have a will. He died, but he didn't make a will. So I, asked, I went to the administrator and uh, administrate on the assets. Okay, on assets. Okay. From 1991? Until now, nothing. The only collecting money, nothing. Father, what is your name? Nelsie Williams. I present Nelsie Williams. And I present the administrator. And I present the asset. No God. I present it at the feet of the cross. Elabasi, nothing is happening for nothing is done. Nothing is done, ma'am. Did you forget another administrator? I get a I'll look, get private lawyer. Nothing is happening, but nothing is done. Elabasi, documents, 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 documents. Elabasi, documents, documents, documents. Elabasi, nothing is happening, nothing is done. Father God, I pray for a miracle. I pray God you intervene in this condition. Locate the administrator right now. Lord God. I pray, God, for an emergency divine spiritual arrest to his mind and heart, or whatever it is that is in cooperation or the network. Lord God, he could ever see nobody was left on it. It's a long, long time. Nothing is happening, nothing is done. Malaka see, Kotori Basi, Alex Sata documents, he could ever see, he could the protocols of Kotori, the protocols, he has certain there are certain protocols in, in administration of where that person doesn't leave anybody to, to, to our willing. So the protocols that govern 
So I've asked God to override all of that. Mighty God, in Jesus' name, mighty God. I present the family that needs the asset, mighty God. Oh, there's a family that's saying that, mighty God, I pray that we activate. I pray, God, that your divine spirit will enter the hearts of those who are connected to this administration of these assets. Lord God, I let the rightful documents be presented, mighty God, in the direction and whose direction and whose office it must enter into. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. I pray, God, that you will be the judge, the jury, and the prosecutor in this case and activate your power now. I pray for divine miracle that this asset will be administered on and release God. Release it, God. Release it now. Roba see every boy, bogus, bogus, false document. Mighty God that has been coming forward against it. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, apply your blood and deliver your daughter right now. Show her token for good. You do it, Jesus. Do it yourself, Lord. Miracles, miracles will happen, mighty God. Lord God, I pray that you visit every person that is connected in this network and write with your finger upon your heart and your mind what you, God, want them to do for this woman, where you want them to start to look into it and do something and put the documents in the right respective places to be administered and, and to be approved and to be released, now, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we call it done tonight. Jesus. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank Just you, receive Jesus. it by faith. Thank God you. bless you. You can yes. mute, mute your mic. Amen. The final one, my phone tonight. Amen. Arthur, you want to take this one in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just take this one, my phone, on mute. That's the final one tonight. Hello. Hello, good night. Yes, go ahead with your request um bless greetings uh, i think i um, my prior request is an immigration situation are you hearing me yes yes, yes we're hearing we're you hearing you. what's the specific request well i've been in wherever i've been for a very long time and but you know different lawyers um nothing has just happening just asking for an immigration miracle. Okay, all right. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask because I know Prophet just prayed for somebody the other day, and they got that immediate release. And you seem like you're in a situation you need an immediate release. Prophet, yes. Just, can you just pray? Thank you. She needs an immediate release. What, what's her name, ma'am? Give us give, don't don't give me a her name. Let's give me a first name. I don't want to give. <laughs> Just oh, give me okay. your first name only. Don't give me oh, your surname. Or, or the initials. Can you give the initials? Okay, initials. my initials. Um, MW. All right. MW, okay. MSW. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present M. And I'm even going to say MW. That's why I said M. <laughs> but no, M. Just M. Yes, he does. Thank you M so much. To the Lord. M. You see M, Lord? My code of us. Yes. Indeed, no weapon form shall prosper. Struggling, you have been struggling for so long. Father God, I pray for a release yes, in the life of him. He called Robo City, about he, and about see about documents. He about confusion in documents. There are confusion in the documents. I lose it to every confusion. Lord God, I pray that you will locate every document that has confusion on it and apply your blood upon it. Lord God, you are God of miracle. You can change wordings. You can visit computer, yes. God. You yes, can go Lord. to the computer and fix it, Lord. Yes, fix it in Lord. all the alignment, Jesus. Recall Kaya Kushena submit properly. Lord God, every incorrect submission of documents, I'm asked to correct it, mighty God, and bring the liberals and alignment in the daughter's life. I speak from yes, miracle Lord. document to arise. God yes, of perfect documents. Yes. God that can arise. God, you can, yes. arrest, you can yes. change letters, and you can, 
You can't shake us with you. You can go and go to the analog program. I'm asking you, God, to go on the computer, Jesus. And I'm asking you to be a real document. And we release the submission to the great authority. Send out oh, Mother God to the females to go in the right oh. office to be able to view Mercy God and call her for interviews now. If she doesn't release it now. Release it now, God. Release it now, God. Do it for her, God. Miracle, Jesus. Document of miracles. In Jesus' name. In Abbas. No other weapon from shall prosper. You cover so to the bus statement. Lord, God, I cancel every different different statement submitted. I cancel it in Jesus' name. Fix it, Lord. You write it now, Jesus. God, remove all that they write that is wrong. And you write it now, Jesus. You can write up on computer. You can change it, God. Fix it, God. And show men that you are God. And you know everything. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Thank Jesus. you so much. Thank you, God bless you guys. God bless you. God bless you. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Thank you. Amen. Yes. Prophetess. Amen. Amen. Ladies, any brother? Is there any extra you want to take? There's so many people lined up. The little boy, the little boy that Mich Sister Michelle mentioned. That yeah. is dead. Yes, yes, yes. All right. You have his That's name? Because it's in my spirit. Yaquan, all right. Five years Yes, he's deaf. I prevail over sickness. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus, I prevail over sickness. I prevail, 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 I prevail. Yes, I, yes, I, I prevail. Yes, I, yes, I, I prevail tonight by the blood of Jesus. We prevail over sin. The blood of Jesus, we prevail over sickness. Hallelujah. We prevail. We prevail. We prevail. We prevail. Pain, my God, so for your 
Yes, Jesus, yes. 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 Yes.
upon your children for all our unholiness yes all our idleness jesus have mercy tonight yes 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 have mercy lord holy ghost all of our miracles flow yes mass miracles i hear healing it healing flow mass miracles are dropping in this zoom room tonight holy ghost. i said mass miracles are dropping in this jesus. zoom room Wherever you are on YouTube. Signs and wonders. Yes, mass miracles. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up and receive from the Lord. My God, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord Jesus. All in on you right now. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus sees it. You don't have to unmute your mic, but Jesus Jesus. sees it. Don't be disappointed that your mic wasn't unmuted. But he sees it. Come on, receive your miracle. The spirit of faith is here. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Amen, Alleluia. amen. Elder Rowe, go ahead and pray, sir, for mass miracles. Amen. Everybody receiving at the same time. God can do it. Go ahead. Amen. Elder Rowe, in Jesus' name. Father, upon the power of your spirit. Shire. Yes, Holy Ghost. We stand in the order Jesus. of the doctrine holy, of the apostles. Jesus. We stand in the strength of the mm. doctrine of the apostles. Yes. We stand in the energy yes. of the doctrine of the apostles yes we stand in the truth of mm. the doctrine of the apostles Hallelujah. we stand in the power of the doctrine of the apostles Hallelujah. we now stand in every aspect of the Jesus. doctrine of god yes. in the name of jesus christ we are God. sons of god with power jesus. and father right now as mm. we release your anointing all over this globe yes, of this program. We are ambassadors yes. of the anointing. We Jesus. are ambassadors of healing. We are ambassadors Jesus. of deliverance, ambassadors mm. of signs and wonders. We are those God who are ambassadors Jesus. of the blood, the, the, the blood, the blood of Akusha, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We are ambassador. My God of the kingdom of God, the country of God. So right now, Father, because you have anointed us and our voices are anointed, the heavenlies are activated right now. And let as the rain fall and we witness the rain fall from the heavens. Jesus, we witness the sun shines from the heaven. Let miracles right yes, now, yes. miracles, miracles, Apa Tusha Tababat Kata Ma. Let miracles, Kushanda Mahaya. Let miracles, miracles. Somebody need a miracle for their house. Hallelujah. Somebody need a miracle for their job. Rashata Masaya. Somebody need a miracle in the hospital. Ratoshata Mahanda. Somebody need a miracle for their children. Kushamasaya. Somebody need a miracle for their husband. Mandaba. Kushata. Somebody need a miracle for their wife. Kumama Masaya. Somebody need a miracle for their church, the congregation. Somebody need a miracle, Lord, right now. Crying out, a miracle, a financial miracle. Somebody need a miracle, Jesus Christ. Somebody need a miracle to return to God from backsliding. Somebody need a miracle right now, God Almighty, at their workplace, Jesus Christ. Oh, God, she has been abused by her boss, Jesus Christ, Mm. spoken down to. My God Almighty, and she's in an executive position. Abuse, my God. Somebody needs to go, but not her. Her boss needs to go. 
God, we need a miracle right now in that company. We need a miracle right now in that workplace. We need a miracle in that community right now. We release miracles. Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now as sons of God with power representative of miracles we are ambassadors of miracles we are ambassadors that believe in the things that you do we are ambassadors that will do them too we are ambassadors that will do greater works we are ambassadors that believe in the supernatural power of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we believe tonight miracles are falling like oxygen in the atmosphere we believe that every man and this program every boy every girl have received a miracle God somebody have never received a miracle before but tonight I am standing in my apostolic authority as an ambassador of the kingdom of God an ambassador of miracle who stand in agreement with all the prayers that was prayed before for miracles oh my god miracles in bodies miracle god almighty so many persons need a miracle yes. for their home jesus christ of nazareth a financial miracle in this time my god miracle my god to destroy that divorce paper to divorce my god almighty that divorce paper in the name of jesus christ of nazareth miracle right now in the courthouse somebody has a court case miracle oh, miracle miracle jesus. miracle yes, in Lord. the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the name of the lord god almighty the name of jesus christ let miracle becomes normal let miracles flow somebody need to cross over god almighty let the red sea be open in the name of jesus let jordan be open and bring them on the other side father we need miracle you turn water into wine oh my god that was your first miracle can you imagine then something need to change right now oh god for the benefit of your children as we celebrate tonight oh god somebody only have water oh god i don't know who it is somebody only have a little water somebody only have a little pint of oil but god tonight let there be a miracle in that bank account in the name of jesus christ of nazareth a miracle tonight my god according to the power of the spirit of god that worketh on this platform tonight so much powerful testimonies somebody body is now in order you are healed already according to the prayers that was prayed we stand in agreement somebody will testify of the goodness of god somebody will watch oh god like naaman and recognize that they are healed somebody will be baptizing in the name of jesus christ of nazareth somebody got the revelation of salvation miracles tonight jesus miracles tonight jesus miracles tonight miracles Holy, and so, holy, Father, holy, holy. as miracles are given to your sons, yes. the sons of God, yes. of the kingdom, miracles are given to us. You have given us the rights to do miracles in the name of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. And so, Father, we have legal rights on earth to be yes. like you, to speak like you, to act like you, to sound like you. We have legal rights to bind in the earth. We have legal rights to loose in the earth. You give us these rights tonight. Oh God Almighty, we bind the spirit of doubt, of Koshata. Yes. We bind the spirit of fear. Yes. And we bind the spirit of unbelief. You will not stop my miracle tonight. We bind every one of you. We command you to be powerless. You are bound in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We lose faith. We lose faith right now for miracle. We lose your faith right now. Let faith get in every vessel. Faith get into my mind. Faith get into my word. We lose you tonight, faith. Every man will leave this program believing that it is done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are thanking you right now, oh God Almighty, that no weapon form against our faith 
will prosper. No weapon that form against our confidence in God will prosper. No weapon that form against our belief that we have received a miracle shall prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have received, we have received in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Lord God Almighty, as sons of God with power, we are declaring that we will shine like light and that Father, tonight, as the prayers went up from the beginning to the end, many are delivered, many are healed. We are declaring tonight and decreeing that the gates of hell shall not prevail against our prayers. Yes. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the words that comes from our mouth and the meditations of our heart. The gates of hell shall not prevail for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Lord Jesus, in the name above every other name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the mighty and mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Atalabashanda. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing tonight. And thank you for granting yes. miracles. I'm thanking you for my miracles. I'm thanking you for a billion miracles. I'm thanking you for a, oh God, a, 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 a six million miracles. Yes. I'm just thanking you for miracles yes. every day. Miracles, God. We will not yes. let down your name. We will stand yes. in the affirmative of your word. Yes. And we thank you for miracles. Miracles right now Jesus. for your children. Hallelujah. Thank you for this prayer meeting tonight. In Jesus', Jesus name again. Name. In the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor Amen. Wendy. Amen. Pastor Wendy Johnson. Amen. I need you to pray for Pastor Moulton and Lady Althea Stoddard. Pastor Wendy Johnson from the Pray Without Ceasing Ministry. Are you in the room? Amen. We want to cover these women of God. Amen. Amen. Lady Althea. Amen. Uh, and Lady Michelle, yes. Yes. Okay, one minute, one minute. Dominique, Dominique, just hold the plane one minute. Amen. Let's hear this instruction. Amen. Go ahead. Anoint his ears with oil every day and declare the atmosphere you shall hear in Jesus' name. And just yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor Wendy Johnson, are you there? Amen. Pray without ceasing ministry. Amen. If Pastor Wendy not there, Sister Marsha, Missionary Marsha Edwards, could you just pray and cover? Amen. This team, they have been pouring out over the 70, almost 70 days now. Lots of virtue. Amen. They have been giving and giving. Leaders need to be covered too. Sister Marsha, would you pray? In Jesus' name. Jesus, our Father God, yes. right now, God Almighty, your daughters, Prophetess Mountain, Evangelist Father, in the Sister name Michelle, of Michelle, yes, mighty God, in a time like this, yes. oh God, oh God, like Esther, Lord, you brought them for Jesus. such a time as this, yes. mighty God, that they will operate upon kingdom principles Holy and God. the power of your spirit that you have invested in them. And so, God, they've been given out weeks Jesus. after weeks, morning yes. after morning. And so, God, replenish, my Jesus. God, from the crown of their heads to the very sole of their feet. Yes. Mighty God, renew their strength Holy right God. now. Jesus. Hallelujah. Fresh we fire. Render, we can't a backlash. Jesus. Retaliation, reprisal yes. over their lives right now, their oh, health, yes. their Jesus. mental health, their physical yes. health, their finances, their Holy family, God. everything Jesus. that cover pertains them. to them, Lord. Oh, in the yes. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, cover them oh, from the throne of their yes. heads to the very stone of their feet. Yes. Let not the enemy triumph over Jesus. them. But in the Ooh. name of Jesus, Renew they shall them, push. Jesus. The gates of hell shall not prevail against them because God. They shall uh -huh, shandala, masio, ko shandala. They will continue in power, love, and sound mind. They will continue in your strength and your grace because your grace is sufficient for them. And they can do all things to you, oh God, that strengthen them. And oh God, to them, oh God, you gave power and they have become your sons and daughters. And as you use them for your kingdom for this time, Souls have been delivered through their ministry, and so in the name of Jesus, more power, more strength, more anointing, replenish, refresh, renew, revive 
in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Missionary Marsha Edwards. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Bethel, 20 South Camp Road. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Elder Ro. Hallelujah. Man of God, bless you, sir. Anything on your heart, sir, before we go? Many things on my heart, but time <laughs> will not tell. Amen. Just thank God anyway tonight for this program and for the testimonies that I've heard and for the prophetess Molten. Amen. And her team, her very committed, submitted, committed team. I admire them and the spirit by which they flow. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad because this is a time and a season where the enemy is trying to downtrodden women. Hallelujah. And trying to take away their faith. Yeah. And when I say a woman of God pushing the power, yeah. I feel good in my spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know there are many more. I Today I sat and I asked the Lord, what could we do without women in our church? Mm -hmm. Sons of God. Women are sons of God, anointed to do what they need to do for God. And I'm glad for the prophetess and her team. I don't care what anybody say. Good. There are many testimonies. Many are delivered. And I'm glad to be on it tonight. Light to the nation, Apostolic Church in Cayman. Amen. I'm glad to be with them two times or three times already. Hallelujah. In the early morning. And I, I, I was so glad to be in it. And I, I feel good that they have invited me. Amen. Even though I can't keep it up because of my schedule. But Amen. I thank God. And I pray, amen, that this team will continue even after the 70 days. Amen. We need it. Yes. Why? Listen to me carefully now. Ella asked me if I have anything to say. We are moving into 20 first century ministry the ministry we are going in is another level of ministry to deal with the technologies of the day which is advanced more advanced than the 60s and the 50s and the 40s and so we're gonna have to move up in the spirit of god to deal with these things because these things are not coming just because they want to come they are coming because the church is here and the enemy is not afraid to put them in your face, church. And so we gonna have to know what to do, what to bind, what to lose, what to declare, what to decree, what to bless, what to curse. My God Almighty, we gonna have to know when and how and what and why. And we have got to know also, my God, the meaning of the watches, because I believe the church is gonna come to a point where we begin to stick in the watches for what we need. Hallelujah. Not that we're not going to pray otherwise, because we are dealing with the 21st century ministry. We are dealing with 21st century, <clears throat> sorry, actions and reactions. And the enemy, the enemy wants to defeat the church, not just outside of the church, but within the church itself. So we have to lift up a standard so if we, are, if we are here, when the next pandemic comes, we won't be running up and down, but people will be running to the church for healing. People will be running to us, not to vaccination, but they'll be running to us and said, we need your shadow to pass over me. We need your handkerchief. We're going to bring this back, the apostolic way that some of us sweat, some of us shadow are going to bring healing, deliverance, and even our very presence are going to cast out devils. That's Amen. where we're going. Yes. 21st century ministry. God bless you all. Keep up the good work. We're going to do it. And we're going to do it together. No matter what the enemy tries. We go do it together. Let no man despise thy youth. Let no man despise thy faith in God. Keep on walking by faith. And we know we have the victory. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, sir. So everyone you're seeing on the screen now, for those of you who are disappointed that we didn't unmute you tonight, we did get to you tomorrow morning, 3, 3 a.m. If you really want God to move on your behalf, the same thing will be happening tomorrow where you can um, pray and uh, unmute your mic on this connection tomorrow um, with um, evangelist Althea Stoddard, Sister Michelle, amen, hard worker. Amen. And they are the administrative right hand of Pastor Moulton. 
Amen. And so the link is 818-9319-1979. And the passcode, four sevens. All right, seven, 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 seven. So screenshot it right now. You have 30 seconds to screenshot this that's happening um, tomorrow morning so that you can go. And then you pray. Uh, they pray until March 11. Amen. And just remind you also that the um, team of uh, Evangelist Stutter is putting on their women's conference. You need to go to uh, tinyurl.com slash woman of faith for this powerful conference. Amen. As you can see, some familiar faces, Pastor Jessica McKenzie and a number of others, Charlene Perry. Amen. And this is happening the 3rd of April. COVID or no COVID. Amen. Althea, not stopping. Eh, Althea? Amen. Amen. We're not We're stopping. Right We're moving right along. <laughs> Even if the government said nothing, I can't keep um, physically. We're going online. And I'm sure we are equal to the task. Amen. So go to that link and register and get your tickets. Just a few left. Amen. And you can also, I think there's a virtual experience they can pay for as well. If they're unable to be there physically, obviously, with the social distancing. But I am so honored. I'm so honored. Prophetess Pastor Moulton, Evangelist Stoddard, Michelle, um, you know, a hardworking team. So honored to have you at the Heart to Heart talk show. And the invitation is yours to take up. A, f a full day, a full night. The, the others that we didn't get to touch, I'm sure and my friends, when I go back, my phone is blowing up with people who inbox me privately, all kind of requests. Um, so the invitation is open. Just tell me when. And the platform is there. Where we can broadcast to YouTube, Facebook, and Zoom. So God bless you. Amen. Any final words from your ladies? Um, I just I encourage everybody to lift your faith. You know, it's very important to have faith. It's your yeah. faith in God that's going to move all the mountains and just lift you up to another level. Yes. So Michelle, Lady Michelle. I I just wrote in the chat. Well, one minute, Pastor Michelle. Um, we'll take the we'll save the best for last or the eldest for last. So, Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I wrote in the chat. I don't know if he's still online, but Mark Jackson, Jackson, I believe, if you're still online, meet us in the room tomorrow. Meet us in the room tomorrow. I'm gonna ask prophetess, um, just to favor that request tomorrow i've been seeing it in our in our chat for uh, some days now a yeah. gunshot to the bladder a gunshot to the bladder and he's still suffering from that meet us in the chat tomorrow mark jackson amen 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 but has already done it yeah. meet us in the chat tomorrow and um i just also wanted to say uh if heart to heart can can be invited on the three and we we will invite you in and come on in with your YouTube and all your Facebook and everyone. And let's, let's pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes, my wife is there in the morning and I, by default, I am listening in. Amen. One device. Before you go, Pastor Moulton, uh, one minute. Denise, are you still in the room? Denise and Dominique? Mr. Denise? Amen. Uh, is the McFarlane yes, from? We're, we're still here. Are you I would, us? We have to go out rejoicing. Whatever oh, you have okay. in the in the arsenal um, after right. Pastor Moulton, you know why we're rejoicing? All right. So I want to thank God for Denise McFarlane, Sam. I want to thank God for Dominique McFarlane, her son. I want to thank God for the husband, David McFarlane, and for all of that high tech setup and the video switching. You know why we're rejoicing, Pastor Moulton? Ladies, Stoddard, Michelle. I'm just getting an inbox. My God Almighty, I feel something here now. Don't start me up in the Althea. That young man, Fullerton, suddenly, my God, his fever dropped from 105 down to 98. Suddenly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wow. Oh my God. She said it. The Lord said it. His fever is Suddenly. Dropped. Hallelujah. Somebody says suddenly. suddenly. My God Almighty. Somebody prophesy over your condition. Say suddenly. Hallelujah. My God Almighty. Hallelujah. Suddenly. 
Say Bring it down more, Jesus. Pro um, prophetess, you're a nurse, ex-nurse. What should the right temperature be? It should, it should be um, that's, that, that's, um, the right temperature for the body. Yes. In, in she, yes. My God. Suddenly. Mm -mm -mm. Don't, don't, don't start me up. Nurse, Nurse Denise. Well, it depends on, on, on what what degree or whatever the metric is. What's what's the metric? Yes, it dropped from 105 to 98. No, I said it. Just dropping now. Yeah. She's doing yeah, in Jesus' that's, name. That's, that's his son. That's his future man. Amen. Future man going to rise up. So I want to say to you all tonight, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, my soul, and body. Love the Lord. Amen. And as you love him, believe him. Because when you look at the analogy, when you love somebody, you believe in them. Come on. The husband loves his wife and he believes in his wife. If she says run, he run. Whatever she tells him, he does believe. The wife loves her husband and she believes every word the husband says. No matter what anyone says, she's going to say, I believe what my husband said. The mother loves her daughter. She's going to believe every word the daughter says. And she's going to believe her son. So as you love him, believe him. And that will give you that intimacy, that Faith, that trust. Come on, come on. Or, or an analogy: a child will stand on top of the roof, and the father will stand below and tell that child to jump. Now that child trusts his or her father so much that they're going to jump and believe that the father's going to catch them. That's what our Lord is to us. He loves us so much. He's not going to love anything after us. And so we need to love him. And the more you love him, the more faith you're going to have in him. The more trust you're going to have in him. Come on. Love him with all your heart and believe him. Very God bless good. you. Very good. Thank Very bless good. you. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you. Amen. Very Just want to thank also the volunteers for the breakout room. Elder Winston Rowe, Elder Donovan Brown, Pastor Daniel Samuels, Pastor Merrick Myrie, Pastor Wendy Johnson. Shelly Ann Harrison, Missionary Mar Mar Marsha Edwards, Evangelist Marcia Hay, Evangelist Sandra Mitchell, Evangelist Velma Mitchell. Powerful prayer team. These are all different prayer teams all over. Somehow this pandemic has made us greater prayer warriors. Amen. We have never prayed like how we are praying. I want to thank my wife, Talicia Mitchell Morgan. I want to thank Antoine Lodge. I want to thank Takesia Ratchet, Javon Burrows, my production team. My God, as the McFarlane family takes it away. Whatever the Holy Ghost give them to sing. God bless you all in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.
anything is possible, say we are under an open heaven, open heaven, open heaven, open heaven, open heaven, say we are I'm inviting everybody to come meet me tomorrow night in this Zoom room. We have an evening of hymns with Elder Mark Brown. Amen. A preacher of preachers. I don't know if he will go off into the preaching, but it's an evening of hymns, apostolic hymns. Amen. And I'm sure ministry will be here. We're meeting here. The Bible says, sing unto the Lord psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Amen. And um, subscribe to us on YouTube and Facebook. We have lots more ministry that's coming, lots more projects. Amen. As the Lord lead us on Saturday, we're having financial personal empowerment. So all of you folks who say you need more money, there are actually many job opportunities online. You don't have to go to a physical work area. There are people who have left their job, people with degrees and masters. And you would hear from one such economist who the Lord told her to stay home and to work. And she's not starving. She will show you. She's from Emmanuel Apostolic Sophia Terrellong. She will join with me. Uh, Michael Isaacs, also um, uh, now former pastor at King's Chapel UPC in Montego Bay, now migrated to Canada. He will be with me to talk about personal empowerment as well. So there are many opportunities that the virtual space affords. So we want to afford you that knowledge so you can be empowered amen, and make money for the kingdom. Not for yourself, but for the kingdom. To fund evangelism. That's my vision. That one day we'll have full-time evangelists, full-time preachers. Pastor Moulton don't have to go to work. That the church does take care of her 24 hours. Yeah. I mean, Prophesy. I just tell you that vision. Prophesy. Huh? Michelle? Prophesy. Prophesy. <laughs> I mean, Pastor Wagner, the late Bishop Wagner, had that vision. Well, not vision. He actually did it. At his church, they dedicated um, funds to taking care of prior warriors that were in the church. That's their job. They took care of their needs. All their responsibility was to come every day and pray. The church was always open, always ready. So that's the vision. That's the vision. Somebody catch it in Jesus' name. Somebody sow a seed. Sow a seed in the ministry of light to, um, to the Gentiles. Ministry in past Pastor Moulton. Go on the line tomorrow and sow a seed. Bless that ministry. Amen. God bless you. We still have ministry going on in the breakout room. So if any other prayer warriors can go in the breakout room. I see Nadia Lewis asking for help in general prayer counseling. Please can somebody attend to her. Amen. As we close out. But uh, we end the live stream. But ministry continues. In Jesus.